Hey everyone, and welcome to the stream. I hope that I'm not too loud. Hopefully you guys can hear everything. The music stopped, which is upsetting. I was jamming, but anyway, hold on. There we go. Just let me know if you guys can see the screen. You should be seeing the Stardew Valley main screen right now. I'm a little quiet. Alright, I turned up my volume a little bit. Hopefully that'll sound a little bit better. There's a secret in the title screen where it says new load and exit. Click the E and start a bunch of times. Okay. Ha! <laughs> well, look at that. I didn't find that one. I did see the other one. Where, like, you can click on the one thing's face and it does something, but that already happened, so... You guys missed that. But you saw the alien, so... That's pretty... That's pretty fun. Hi, a wasted wizard. I hope you're not too wasted for the stream. <laughs> wow, there's like 16 people. I thought there was going to be like two. So that's pretty cool. All right. So we are still very early on in the game. It's the 11th of summer. It's year one. I haven't gotten too far. I've played a couple episodes on my YouTube channel, which you can check out if you want. There's links down below and on the screen you should be able to see. But, uh, but yeah, I think it's a festival day. I feel like that's what happened uh, last time. There was going to be a festival and I was going to record and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to stream. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, why am I holding this? My inventory is full, that's why. Oh. <sighs> okay, I need to remember where I put everything. <laughs> and I have mail! That's exciting. Alright, so I'm putting forage stuff in this box. I don't know if I have any... Where did I get a bomb from? I don't know. I think I should just put everything in here because it's festival day, so there's really no point in carrying all that crap around. Quartz. Oh yeah, the dwarf scroll. I totally forgot I had that. And I also caught a ghost fish. Like, what the heck is that even? I think somebody dropped it. Like, I don't even think I caught that fish. I think somebody in the mine, not somebody, but like a creature in the mine dropped it, and I was like, well, thank you. Crystal fruit. I guess I'll put that in storage. Hi, Sylveon X Flareon, you're awesome too. so messed up because I haven't I haven't played in a couple days because I didn't want to get too far ahead so I don't even know what's going on uh, oh geez. I'm trying to keep everything organized and I'm being really anal about it and then I'm just forgetting where everything is so that's fun Wait, that looks terrifying, me just carrying a giant bomb on my head. Oh, that goes in there. That goes in there. I guess I'll just... Should I ship the fish? Should I keep the ghost fish? Oh, it's in one of the fish bundles. Okay, thank you for that, Brimmy, because I wasn't sure. So, I will... I'll just throw it in here for right now. Oh, I also started building a silo. I put it over here. Shut up, dog. I hate you. So... I put the silo over here and Robin is building it, so that actually wasn't in the video. Kitty, you're lucky I found you last night. You were unconscious and somebody was searching your pockets. I have no idea how much money they took. They ran away as soon as I approached. Be more careful. You know what, Linus? You're homeless, so you could have taken it and I wouldn't know. I'm just saying. Yeah, I passed out because... I This was off screen, this wasn't in the video. I was mining, and it was in this, like, labyrinth kind of thing. Like, 
I don't know if any of you guys have seen it, but it went around in kind of a square. So I realized that it was really late and I could not leave. Like I couldn't get out in time because I was going around and around in circles. And yeah, <laughs> so that happened. And then I passed, I, I actually made it to like right here and then I passed out. It was really annoying. <laughs> I was so angry. <laughs> Oh, look at all of these. Oh, spice berries. Holy crap. No, don't eat it. These were like the mystery seeds that I think I got from the community center. And, uh, I got those. Get off my head. Oh, I didn't- I didn't take out my watering can. Well, that was intelligent. Where's the watering can? There it is. Alright. I think- Today's festival is the luau, I want to say. Does anybody know what that is? Like, do I need to be doing something for that? This is a rougher neighbor neighborhood than uh, Mineral Town, let me tell you. People will just come up and mug you. It's a rough time. How much did I lose? Uh, I think I lost about a thousand gold. I was very angry. It was probably a good thing I wasn't recording because there was much swearing. <laughs> lots and lots of swearing. Shut up, dog. The thing is always barking. I should have picked the cat. Regrets. Oh, someone followed. I, he I hear the follow noise. Thank you. For the follow. Oh. That was the- <laughs> Wow. Well, you're still special, dear. My player two is sitting behind me watching the stream, and he said it was him, and I was like, oh. Well, a follow's a follow. Alright, almost done with, like, these 500 crops that I have. I need, Captain Quinlan says, you need a starred crop to put in the soup. What soup are you talking about? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and keep your gold star hot pepper to put in the pot at the Lua. See, that makes more sense. I think that, is that what you were trying to say, Captain Quinlan? All right, I'll, I'll keep that, I guess. And then, I think I'm gonna keep uh, the grapes and stuff for jelly, because I have my little jelly thing over there. And, uh, oh, another follow. It happens so fast, I never have a chance to see, like, who followed, but thank you, whoever followed. <laughs> uh, I'll just put everything in here and deal with it later. Alright, I'll just take the one hot pepper. I don't think I need my watering can. Where is the luau? Does anybody wanna... Anybody wanna, uh, chime in on where the luau is? Because I don't know. This is, uh, a PC game, KP1 and only. This is only available on PC, but I think the developer said he's going to try to port it to consoles eventually. I don't know when, but... Oh, it's at the beach. Okay, good. Thank you, friend. And thank you, Sylveon X Flareon, for following. I really appreciate it. And it's totally free, so there's no reason why I shouldn't do it. Alright. We gotta go find the beach. Well, not find it. I know where it is, but we gotta go there. My, my hubby lives there, my future hubby. Oh, look at this. This is very reminiscent of the Harvest Festival in um, Harvest Moon Back to Nature. Cause you could like, I'm assuming you just bring something to put in the pot, I think. Ho ho ho, it's Pierre. Pierre. Another follower. Thank you. And free buffet. One of the perks of living here. Enjoy it, kid. <sighs> I need an adult. I am an adult. Oh yeah, this is very much like uh, Back to Nature. Like, you even go up the little ladder and you throw it in. But I don't want to do that yet because I'm afraid that might trigger the event. Okay, Brimmy. See you in a little bit. Alright. I got some tiki's and stuff going on. Oh, this is like the really old guy that's single. Mmm. No, thank you. Okay. Hey, talk to me. Whatever Linus is roasting smells awfully good. <laughs> um, I... 
That could be a person, for all we know. I mean, come on, do you trust Linus? Let's be real. Did they break this again? This was not broken. I fixed this. Did they just break this for the festival? That's pretty rude. Oh, you're such a rebel. Sam the Super Saiyan. Such a rebel. All right. Uh, you two are always together. You need to you need to back it up. Back it back it up. That's my man right there. Yeah, he models for Harlequin. Uh, romance novels, if you guys didn't know, totally. And he is my husbando. <laughs> he definitely looks like a girl. His sprite, just like right now, he definitely looks like a girl. But that's okay. I accept him for who he is. Okay. Oh, emo. I gotta talk to the emo. One year, Sam put a pound of anchovies in the potluck soup. What a riveting story. Thank you for that, Sebastian. I would dance, but I don't want to get sweaty. Mmm, okay. Well, I didn't want to dance with you anyway. I don't like you. Okay, so let's put the... We'll put the hot pepper in the thing. Where's my toolbar? Oh, well, you just go up and click on it. I guess that works. Kevin Quinlan says, Seb is my spirit animal. Uh, I feel sorry for you. Added hot pepper to the soup. Do you think people are gonna freak out because it's a hot pepper? <laughs> that would make me laugh if they were all, like, crying because it was hot. Oh, sure. The governor's here for his annual visit. I don't care about the governor. Come on. I don't care. I don't care. Look at his suit, though. What a lovely occasion. It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. I think so, too. Do you not... I, I assumed I had to talk to him to start this luau thing, but I guess not. Do I have to talk to you? Hey. Hey. Woman. I guess not. How do I start it? <laughs> How do I start it? KP1 and only says, love the name Sebastian. Me, too. I actually really like that name a lot. And Sylveon X Flareon says, I think Sebastian is better for you even though I can't afford it. What? What? You can't afford him? I didn't know that he was lending out his body. Sebastian, what are you doing on the weekends? Get me some of that emo action. Okay, how do I start this thing? Okay, okay so I had to talk to you again? Yes, let's move forward with the luau. The governor seems a little hungry. Well, pfft, yeah. I think he probably ate before he came. <laughs> the governor looks like a legit pimp. I'm sorry, but it's true. <laughs> that is true. Well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put high quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret his visit to the valley. I should have put a poison mushroom in there. I did that once in Back to Nature. It was totally worth it to poison the entire village. Oh, Governor, would you do us the honor of tasting the soup? I kind of hope that he just gets like major anal blaze from this soup. <laughs> what if he just vomited into the soup? You don't have much to say about it. It's an average soup. Oh, my butt. I gave you a star hot pepper, sir. Forget you. How rude. He's right. It's nothing special. Not bad, though. Well, what do you expect when you put it in a giant freaking, like, basket that could be a hot tub? Like, the soup is not going to cook correctly when it's just in that giant thing. It's probably all nasty because stuff fell in it from the trees and, st and shit. KP1 only says, and he doesn't have a real name. It's just the governor. Hashtag governor is a pimp conspiracy. I agree. <laughs> he was just looking for honeys. That's why he, that's why he came. All right. So that was interesting. Oh, I already, did I have those in my inventory before? I probably did, but I need to make some more jelly, so there we go. 
sounded oddly strange. Gotta make some more jelly. My stupid dog. I guess I'll go to sleep. You're also going to end up with a really weird soup if you go around dumping something in a pot. I think Twitch has like an automatic banned words thing, so I'm not sure what word you were trying to say. I'm assuming it was shit, <laughs> but yeah, probably. Oh wow, they actually show the person working. I can just stand here and watch her work. Work harder, Ginger! Alright, time to water all these crops again. Didn't we just do this? I feel like we did. Oh, I still have summer seeds too. I can plant some more of those. Get the hoe. The hoe is very important. You guys should know the importance of the hoe. The governor knows the importance of the hoe. What did I even plant here? I don't remember. See, this is why I like Story of Seasons, because it tells me. Because nine times out of ten, I, for I forget what I planted. And then it's a surprise when it eventually grows. It's like, oh, I forgot I planted that. But, uh, yeah, people were saying to build the silo first because... What, if you, like, chop this kind of grass, it becomes chicken feed or something? I don't know. But people said to build the silo before you get the chicken coop. So that's what I'm doing. I don't know if it's right. But that's what we're doing. Okay. So we got all the crops watered, and I think I'm going to plant the rest of these summer seeds that I got from the community center. Of course I forgot the fertilizer. Like, every time. Here, have some. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna murder that dog, I'm just telling you. It never stops barking ever like my dogs in real life and it's really derpy looking too it's just running into nothing like <sighs> dog if you don't behave i'm gonna mod you into a growlith for real though okay so Should I go mining today? That is the question. I guess I will. Let's see. Wow, I really did not need to keep all of those peppers. I'll keep one of those and one of those and then sell the other ones. Um, hmm. I'm gonna save the grape and the salmon berry and the spice berry for jelly. I can definitely sell some of these sweet peas, though. I like to have uh, a couple of each thing, just in case uh, somebody requests it. Like, in a quest or something. Because if it's out of season, you can't get it. So, I like to kind of hoard things. It's kind of a problem, actually. And I think I'll get this cave carrot. Yeah. We're, we're gonna go with that. And go to the mine. And of course, I don't have the hoe, because I could dig up these worms. Well, I'm sorry, do I look like the type of girl that carries a hoe around all the time? No. Just sometimes. Just sometimes. There are 25 people here, holy crap. I hope you're not severely disappointed. Help wanted, can somebody bring me a green algae? I could use one. Oh, the bay! We must. We must, we must. I think I have one actually. See, this is why I hoard stuff. This is why I hoard stuff. Penmore says, have you set up any tappers yet? I have not. I haven't gotten around to planting any trees yet. So I can build them though. I think they're in my construction thingy. Like, uh, yeah, I can build them. I just have not. 
I tend to like go really slowly with this these kinds of games like I like to take my time and build things very slowly okay green algae is really slimy well thank you for that Elliot why do you want that uh yes green algae just want to make sure I got the right thing because I walked all the way back here so now we got to go find Bay. really hard to find because he's like a recluse he just stays in his cabin all day which is why I feel like we're meant to be because I don't leave my house either so meant to be trash picking I have not gotten caught trash picking yet so are you guys proud of me because <laughs> apparently people get like really grossed out they'll be like oh my god why are you trash picking it's like because it's free because it's free. You guys trying to be like GameStop and shutting that down? I don't think so. <gasps> Bay! Hey, hey, I have something for you. Hey! Oh, the green algae I requested, and it's a beautiful one too. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Does he like me more? I feel like he should. 45G on delivery, and Elliot will be pleased. Oh, that is not the only way I could please you. Good sir. Here, have some coral. You like that too. Do you like me yet? Two. Just two. Man. Uh, who's your favorite among the female characters? Like, it, as in if I were male, who would I romance? Or just, like, in general? Also, Penmore says you can set tappers to any tree everywhere. I set a lot of them on the map. The wizard lives lets me- Oh, okay. That's really cool. I thought that you can only put them on your farm, so I kind of was like, oh, I'll just wait until I have trees. But if I can, you know, put them on the wizard's land, holy crap, there's a lot of stuff here today. Uh, but if I can put them on the wizard's land, then I am definitely doing that, because screw the wizard, <laughs> clearly. Bye, bae. See you later. Okay. Man, I gotta get to the mine, or we're not gonna have time to do anything. <sighs> I ran into a fence. It happens. There's George sitting angrily under his tree. Maybe I should check the community center real quick before we go, because I got a bunch of, like, this stuff. And I feel like there might be something that I could put in here the ocean no not ocean fish where is it crab pot oh yes there we go see regular clam okay so i only need one more but i don't know where to get like lobsters or crayfish or crabs or shrimp or anything periwinkle i don't know where to get that so that's just gonna remain <laughs> unfulfilled Eco Batman says, how much easier would life be with status bars showing exactly how much people like you? I would not like that because then I would see how low everyone's status bars is. I wouldn't like that very much. That would just be depressing. It's like, oh yeah, my best friend and has like 10%. That would not be good for me. Oh my gosh. Am I really going to go into the mine without... <sighs> Normally I would go to the hot spring first, but like... I, there's not a lot of time. So we're just gonna go for it. YOLO. Uh, you can marry both genders. That is true, but I am going for Elliot. I don't know if that was actually directed towards me. Don't sell the jelly. Elliot likes jelly. I did read that. So I'm, I'm going to try to remember to keep it. Also, he apparently likes parsnips, uh, which would have been helpful, but I didn't know that at the time. So... Poor Elliot. I could have been romancing him the whole time, but I wasn't. Okay, so we are at level 55 in the mine, and I'm just going to try to get down to 60. I don't know if that's going to happen, but we're going to try. Oh, I forgot. I have a frozen tear that I can put in the community center. 
I could give it to Sebastian because apparently he likes them, which is just hysterical. But uh, I need to put it in the community center, so somebody remind me of that at some other point in time. I also probably should have checked to see if there were any, ooh, uh, to see if there were any more festivals going on in the near future. But I did not do that either. Because I get sidetracked very easily when playing this game. I'm gonna steal all the torches. Alright. Alright, you, let's go. Fight me! Fight me! Dead. Sounds like Seb is a little bit of a sadist. I think he's like just super emo to the point of you know I mean I feel like he would sit in his room and write simple plan lyrics that's Sebi for ya that slime is gonna attack me well I'm just gonna ignore you how am I supposed to find the ladder in all of these freaking rocks Oh, well, there's the ladder. Okay, I stand corrected. Ladder. Don't sass the ladders. They'll just appear. Die, slime. All right, it's 6 p.m. and we're at level 56. Thank you, slime. We are at level 58 now, actually. So, uh, we might be able to do this. We might be able to make it to level 60. How many levels are there total? Anybody, uh... No! Batman, no! No! I thought we were friends! Batman doesn't have any friends. That's right, I'll steal your wings. I'll steal your wings. Elliot loves lobsters. They are the easiest I'm getting murdered as I'm trying to read the chat. They are... The easiest of his best gifts you can get, like, kind of quicker in my opinion. The ladders are trolls, man. Um, how do you get lobster? Oh my god, I'm dying. Guys, why didn't you tell me? I must eat the carrot. I'm glad that your status bar, like, kind of screams at you a little bit when, uh... When you <laughs> are getting low on, uh, stamina, because if it didn't, I would definitely forget. Ugh! Go back to Gotham! It takes too long, so I'm not gonna do that because uh, I don't want to waste too much time. I really just want to get the ladder and get down. What? Man, what the heck? I think we just had a hiccup, which is strange. Somebody in my house must be watching Netflix. Pap! Is it back up? Is everything back up, guys? I have the... I quickly pressed escape. <laughs> Pap does ruin lives, Captain Quindolin. He's probably up there watching, like, freaking... some British show. Anyway, I'm glad it's back, because... I just happened to look over and was like, oh, that's bad. <laughs> and then I left my screen up, so I lost some time. Get out of here! So, I don't know if we're going to be able to get to level 60. You get lobsters in a trapper and put them in the ocean. Okay. Uh, is that, like, something that I can craft? I'm assuming. Like, maybe later on. I don't have that yet. Man. No, that won't give me... That won't give me energy. Crap. What do I have that will give me energy? Probably nothing. Well, that's a problem. Crap. How much? Man. This is bad. 
Oh boy. Do we want to push it? I want to see what's in here. Three. Crap. All that for a topaz. Nope. I'm leaving. You can't come after me. I'm lost. <laughs> nope. Leave. I really need to make a chest and like leave it here with stuff in it. Like status or stamina stuff. Somebody suggested that and that is a really good idea. And I should do that. Captain Quinlan says, Pap is probably watching the Santa Claus. <laughs> probably. The Santa Claus with Tim Allen. Do you guys know what that movie is? My grandfather. Oh my god. He has seen that movie a million times. And he continues to watch it, even out of season. He'll be watching it in freaking August. And I'm just like... <sighs> stop. <laughs> Please stop. Robin, you're still- it's 11.30! Go home! Good lord! I am not forcing you to stay here, jeez. Uh, I guess I will keep that thing. I guess I'll keep the sea urchin as well. Oh, I forgot I picked up a torch. Iron ore, frozen chest. Thanks for the follow, Tubby. <laughs> I couldn't see the rest of your username. I'm not actually calling you a Tubby. But thank you for the follow. Uh, I always forget how I organize these because I, I just did it not that long ago and then I forget where I put everything. Sap. Um, rainbow shell. Is that important? Can I sell that? Let me know. See, I just I just end up hoard look at all of this crap. Why why do I have this? Why do I hoard like that? I don't know. I don't know, but I can't stop. It just keeps happening. I have twelve torches. I don't think that's necessary. At all. Mallet, you need to go in here. I'll get the watering can out for tomorrow. Uh rocks go in there. And slimes go here. Okay, I think I have some okay, I have some frozen geodes that I want the blacksmith to open. And I want to take a frozen tier to the community center. I feel like I think I already gave the solar essence. I think I already did that, so. Uh I don't think I gave Gunther one of those. Did I give Gunther an aquamarine? I don't remember. I'm just gonna take it, just in case, because I don't think I did. And then there was some scroll thing. Yes, that. I need to give that to Gunther as well. Uh, I think that's it. Rainbow shell, I don't really know what to do with you. I guess I'll just save it, because I am a hoarder, clearly. And I will put the sea urchin in here. Robin, go home! Jeez! Like, why are you still here? Is that even Robin? I don't know. She's a ginger, so I'm assuming it's Robin. I don't even know. No, don't eat it. Put it in the- put it- put it in the burn. Okay. We're going to bed now. <laughs> Hello, unsafest chicken. How are you unsafe? <laughs> I'd need to know. Uh, KB1 only says, sorry, I gotta go. It's like after 12 p.m. here in the UK. Got work tomorrow, but followed you earlier. So, hope to see future streams and YouTube videos. Aw, oh, thank you so much. Bye! See ya, UK friend. It's, it's never too early for Christmas? Well, clearly not if you're my grandfather. Oh, you can only cr craft the uh, traps if your fishing level's high enough? Well, <laughs> I have news for you. That is probably never going to happen. Because, oh, well that... <laughs> she worked all night and then just this just happened. This very phallic silo that we have going on here. Oh, god, did you guys see that lightning? I can't pick these. These look like they're ready. You lied to me, game. So if I s use the sickle on this grass, will it become fodder or something in the silo? Somebody needs to answer. Oh, my jelly. My jelly. Grape jelly. I think I'm going to give that to Elliot, actually. Provided I can find him when he's not off modeling. Oh, 
Oh, you have to leave for a type of uni. I'm assuming you mean university in Australia in about 30 minutes, but I'll stick around for a bit longer. Love your videos. Aw, thank you, 8-Bit Girl. That's very sweet. So I'm assuming you're Australian then. That's really cool. Alex's birthday. Who cares? He's a jerk. Uh, okay, so we don't have anything going on until the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies, which sounds like a strip club or something. I don't know. All right, so we're going to go and see. I don't think Elliot comes out, though, until... Jeez, I think I'm going to get electrocuted. I really do believe that. But Elliot doesn't come out until, like, noon, and I'm not sure if he'll come out now because it's raining. Not just raining, but storming quite badly. So, I don't know, but we can come over here and get the coral a while. Hey, don't get stuck. Always getting stuck. Penmore says, yeah, it becomes fodder, but you can only hold so much in the silo at once. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of annoying, but good to know that it becomes fodder. Look, could you build a second silo? Is that possible? Like, if you wanted more fodder for whatever reason? If you just really needed the fodder? The raindrops are really loud on the metal roof of our trailer. I'm sorry. That's very depressing for a lot of reasons. I think somebody asked me if I found the mayor's shorts yet. I have not, but I have heard where they are. See, I haven't found them yet. And I am not surprised at all. That's all I will say. So let's donate some stuff. Uh, Jade? Did I really... Hmm. I guess I, could, I guess I did give him a tear and an amethyst and aquamarine, which I forgot. But, ooh, reward. Awesome. We're also gonna give him this scroll thing, which I, I don't even know where I got that. I feel like I dug it up. But let's see the reward. A night on Echo Hill. Furniture can be placed inside your house. Well, that's nice, but will it feed me? No? I am a starving farmer looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> oh my. That's not what I wanted. Hey, process my geodes. What the heck is that? What, fl floropatite? Something like that? Well, it looks a little bit questionable. Whatever it is. But I guess we'll go give it to Gunther. I thought I had more frozen geodes. Did I, no did I not? <sighs> Fine. Here, have, have this thing. Enjoy it. Uh, Penmore says, yeah, you can have multiple silos on your land. I was going to say that before I press enter. <laughs> it's okay, I read your mind. That's awesome, though, because, uh, there's a lot of grass, and I've not cut it because people were saying don't cut it until you have a silo. So. Judge Mart sucks! Alright, I just felt the need to do a drive-by shouting at Jojo Mart. So we're gonna go, oh god. We're gonna go up to the community center and hopefully not die on the way there. I should have brought my fishing rod and I didn't. Uh, okay. Um, which one? Is it down here? One of them wants the frozen tear. I think it's this one, I think. Yes, okay, cool. I I have not seen fire quartz anywhere. Does anybody know where to get fire quartz? I'm assuming the mine, like maybe down further. I have not seen it anywhere, which is depressing. So I don't know where to get that. And I really want to complete that bundle. I'm also really close to completing the other one, but I need gold and I only have a couple pieces. I don't have enough to actually make the gold bar. So <sighs> just got to wait on that one. I must have tried. checked this trash. I guess I'll get my fishing rod and try to fish. This will be entertaining for everyone, I'm sure, because I suck at fishing. It's a problem, actually. 
I can put that painting up in my house though because it looks very nice. Gylum says you will find it in a geode in the mine, so that's where the fire quartz is. Okay, thank you. Um, I want to put it there, but that picture is there. Can I just... Okay, there we go. There. That looks nice. Dog, calm down. What is wrong with you? Okay. Um, oh my gosh, this thing is almost full. It's a problem. Actually, now it is full. Am I really gonna have to build another chest because I have to hoard everything? Probably. Probably. Um, I might as well make some more iron bars because why not? There you go. Okay. So let's go fishing. Because that sounds like torture. There's a fishing rod. What is that creepy noise? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? It's okay, Purple Asio. The dog scares me as well. I'm not sure what happened to him. I might have dropped him on his head when he was a puppy or something, but there's just something not right about him. I wish there was music that played during the rain because, like in Story of Seasons, it just sounds really empty. Oh, thank you for the follow. I didn't- I wasn't able to see who you were, but whoever you are, thank you for the follow. You can put in the chat if you want to, and I will recognize your follow-ness. Okay, let's go fishing. I'm gonna die. If I die fishing, that's just sad. Oh, I was itching my face. <laughs> Seriously? Guy Lim, thank you. Okay, I'm not even trying now. Oh, got one. Alright. And it, it, did it. What? What is the treasure chest thing? What does that mean? What does it mean? I got a thing. I just want the fish. This is really hard to do. <laughs> And if anybody is curious, I'm playing with the mouse and keyboard, so... Yes! Red mullet. Did I get that before? I feel like I did. Also, I got a geode? What? Why? Why was there a geode? And how would I have picked it up with a fishing rod? I call shenanigans on that. Is the is the red mullet something for the uh, community center? Do you guys know offhand? I always forget because some fish the community center wants and then other fish they don't want. They discriminate really badly when it comes to fish. <sighs> really? You're not gonna... I'll move over here then. This is the most exciting part of the game fishing in a thunderstorm. I have no patience. I think that's my problem. Yes! Alright. Come on. Come on. Ah! Come on. Come on. It. Another one of the same fish, really. Can we not? Can we not? Man. We've been fishing for how many hours, and we've only gotten two fish. Oh, well, and a geode, I suppose, but still. I'm just trying to level up my fishing, because I think I'm only at, like, level one, because I am not good at it at all. I mean, I'm starting to- like, the same one! Like, I'm starting to understand what you're supposed to do, but I'm still not good at it. 
Maybe we'll try the river to see if I can get a different kind of fish. Because I, th that's three of the same freaking fish. I don't want that. Let's try over here. Come on, fish. You know you want to. Come on, fish. Fish! I could never fish in real life. I would be so bored. I would be sitting there with my DS playing Pokemon or something. I am not a patient person at all. Algae. I want fish. Zambi. Zambi, thanks for following. I think I read that correctly. It's, it's kind of hard to see because... I have that screen, like, the OBS is open on my other monitor, and my mic stand goes across the monitor, so it's kind of hard to actually see. Um, so if you, uh, if you follow and you want to, me to know who you are, you can just leave it in the chat, and I will try to, I will try to acknowledge it, because I do appreciate the follows. Yes. Ooh, what's that? A shad. Did I catch that before? I am not sure. But I'm bored, and I'm sure you guys are too, so. Sylveon X Flareon says, This is off topic, but are you going to name you and Naughty's children? <laughs> In Story of Seasons. Um, am I going to name them as opposed to what? Calling them Child 1 and Child 2? Or do they just have, like, pre-names that you can give them? I'm assuming that's what you mean. I would name them because that's no fun. I'm not going to let the game name my children. My pirate children. I don't think so. Somebody was very, very excited about the, the idea of Naughty and I having children in the story of seasons. They said they would be beautiful brown babies and it just made me laugh. <laughs> I said, yes, I agree. Beautiful brown babies. They will be, because Naughty is they. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> uh, I have a whole long Let's Play of Story of Seasons, which is basically the new Harvest Moon on my YouTube channel. And I just uh, picked who I'm gonna marry, so. Ah! No! No. Oh my, come on, man. How was I supposed to get that? I just, Ugh, fish. Fish, fish, fish. Ha, <laughs> Eco Batman says, of course she'll name them. This is the Hunger Games. <laughs> I agree. That really annoyed me. Spoilers for the end of Hunger Games. Katniss has kids and doesn't name them. It's really stupid. That's It's like that in the book, too. Really annoyed me. Uh, Purple Asia says, you and Nadia ship it so hard. <laughs> It, it, it would be funny because I, my character has green hair and Nadi has white hair, so that would be interesting to see. But I think the children tend to look like the father in that game, so that's probably what's going to happen. But. It's probably better that they don't look like me. Like, let's be real. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Uh, I guess I'll take out this sweet pea and put in this sweet pea. And then get rid of the algae. And I gotta see if the community center wants either of those fish. We'll get the geode broken open tomorrow. Make some more iron. Alright. Um, I'll have to make some more copper too. I have a lot of copper. Jeez, I forgot about that. Oh, there's the rest of my geodes. I just didn't... <laughs> I must have only picked one instead of uh, taking the whole thing, so... That was my fault, of course. Let's see. Anything else I want? No. I think I'm going to chop down some trees, though. Beca 
because it needs to happen a little bit every day and I'm missing the axe where is the axe I'm missing it there it is duh okay okay we we're good we're good we got it all right sweet pea get out of here unsave his chicken says fritz get out of here never 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 <laughs> fritz is not my jam he has like a cult following <laughs> fritz is one of the bachelors in story of seasons and most people know how i feel about him i just i'm very picky about my fictional men i can't i can't help it you know what I'm saying? I And I always typically don't like who other people like. I always have that unpopular opinion, seems like. Because I don't like stupid men. <laughs> and I don't like cocky men. Unless it's like, I don't know. I feel like the only cocky kind of guy, fictional guy that I like is Damon from Vampire Diaries. <laughs> Which is definitely a guilty pleasure kind of show, but, uh, he's like the exception to the rule. Normally I'm like, get out of here. I always tend to go for, like, the broody, like, kind of guys. So you would think I'd be going for Sebastian, but I just think Elliot's hilarious. <laughs> so, that's why I'm going for him. Chop the tree down. Thank you. You should name your children mistake one and mistake two. <laughs> I... I would be horrified. I do not want children in real life, so... That would be, like, really bad for me. 12 a.m. already. Come on now. Go! Get these... And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'll put the rest of this crap away. I do need to make some of those um tappers. Like you were saying. So I can put them on the wizard's trees. <laughs> Screw the wizard. I like that painting up there. I think it looks aesthetically pleasing. So let's hope that fishing leveled up. All fandoms call- hey, hey, it did. All fandoms caller says, Fritz is your jelly. I don't want to know what that means. Purple Asio says, Fritz is so cute, but your disdain for him fuels me. <laughs> I am quite savage to Fritz. Sylvia Next Flareon says, I think you should name the girl Lucy and the boy Natsu. Is that from something? I don't know. I feel like the boy should be named Jack Sparrow. I'm just saying. <laughs> Fishing rod proficiency and new crafting recipe bait. That looks like confetti. Maybe the fish want a party. They just want a little bit of confetti. In the water. 14th of summer. What have I accomplished? Not much. Like in real life. Okay. Put the copper in there, make some more copper. Cause that's what I do, I guess. We gotta stop by the community center and see if the community center wants these fish. Because I don't really want them. What? My throat's about as dry as a desert bone. I'm real thirsty for a pale ale. You got one? Regular old beer won't do. I need a pale ale. Pam, go home, you're drunk. Um... Is this a timed one? I'll just accept it. Pam is thirsty. I is Pam ever not thirsty? That's the real question. Pam, you remind me of my mom. Okay. <sighs> so we're gonna put the jelly in here because I'm saving them for Elliot. Oh, that's spiceberry jelly, right? I like how the whole description is just gooey. <laughs> that is the entire description of where did I get a radish? Did I did I actually grow that? I feel like I didn't. Did I steal someone's radish in my sleep? That sounds more likely. No, don't eat it. 
Uh, someone says Natsu and Lucy is from an anime called Fairy Tale. Oh, I've heard of that. I have never watched it, though. I don't have a thing against anime by any means. I just, it's like one of those things that I just never, I wasn't super into as a kid, except for Sailor Moon. I loved the hell out of Sailor Moon and Pokemon, but I, I wasn't exposed to it. And now it's like, I really want to get into it, but I just haven't had any time. So that's where I'm at with anime. <laughs> Because there's so many, like, I've heard that there's so many good ones, like Death Note, a lot of people have recommended, which I really want to try. Uh, Black Butler. Just different ones that I've seen pop up on Netflix. But, I just haven't. I haven't. Do I have any more seeds? I feel like I don't. Seems like a lot of people like this fairy tale anime. Sailor Moon is life. Uh, Zat Zatsu? Is that, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but Sailor Moon is my jam. Uh, for those of you who watch Sailor Moon, who's your favorite Sailor Scout? I'm curious. The dirt already looks dark to me, so sometimes I can't tell if I actually watered things or not. It's a problem. Uh, Unsavious Chicken says, Concerned Ape had a vote of next ones to be able to get married, and he had Linus on the list. LOL, voted for him. <laughs> that would... Oh, hey, these are... What is this? Hops. A bitter, tangy flavor flower used to flavor beer. Well, could I just give one of these to Pam? Like, would she really know the difference? I mean, I think we need to buy some more seeds because I don't think I have any more to plant. So we'll do that today, I guess. Um, hmm. Copper, you need to go in here. This one is for stuff that I've grown. We'll do one of those, one of those, one of those. One of those, actually two of those. Okay, I think that's, I think that's good. And then this, no, get out of there. I'm gonna just keep all my, like, uh, why are you in here, hot pepper? I'm gonna keep all of the berries in here because uh, jelly. Because I'm gonna make it, because I would imagine that jelly would sell for more than just the regular uh, fruit, right? That would make sense. Okay, so I think I can sell all of this stuff, actually. Yeah. Okay. Um, FK306, welcome! It's okay. I don't know how long I've been streaming. I haven't really been paying attention. Probably a while. I lose track of time when I'm playing this game. But, welcome! And, let's see. Uh, oh, thank you for following! Uh, Apic Girl says, I recommend Death Note to anyone who hasn't watched an anime. It's amazing. Oh, I've heard such good things about it. I really need to try it. Um, Penmore says, Mercury is his or her favorite Sailor Scout. I can't really tell. Um, Jupiter or Venus or even Sailor Moon herself, says Purple Asio. Uh, Jupiter was always my favorite, personally. And then it was Jupiter and then it was Mars. Need a strawberry to serve at my afternoon tea party. I believe I have that, but I- Emily is a ginger, right? <laughs> Most of the women in this game are gingers. I don't know where she lives, though. So... Hmm. Oops. Well, I finally got caught, guys. Because <laughs> I didn't realize. Lewis, you blended in. I don't care if he doesn't like me. Um... Brandoy says, I wish they let you name and personalize the chest somehow. I do as well. That would be really helpful. And I am very much an organization type person. So I would really like to be able to organize everything. But who knows? I mean, maybe it'll be in an update if enough people suggest it. Concerned Ape is very good about updating this game. Like, there's always stuff coming out. He is really amazing. And... 
I mean, especially when you consider how many games nowadays are released half finished with bugs, you know, like half the game is locked on DLC. Like, it, it's crazy. So I'm really glad that he's found success in this game because he really deserves all of the praise for making this awesome game. Oh, uh, FK306 says, Emily has blue hair and lives with Haley next door to Sam. Thank you. I thought she was one of the gingers. I get them confused because their sprites look alike, okay? I'm not racist against gingers most of the time, but their sprites legit look very similar. So let's process these geodes. We got a regular one. Oh, yay, stone. Woo. Exciting. Ooh, what is that? Soapstone? Ooh, you need to take a bath? Frozen tear. And what is this? Lunarite. Okay, well, you know, that's two things for the museum. Uh, Unsafe Chicken says Jupiter, lol. Been so long since I seen Sailor Moon way back then. Heard they're rebooting it. I think they did? Or was that Sailor Moon Crystal? I never watched that. But, I don't know. I'm always leery of reboots. Like, they're rebooting Powerpuff Girls, and it just- it's wrong. Like, I just- I love the Powerpuff Girls, but their voices are different. Like, really different. And I just can't not hear the original voice actresses for them, so I don't think I could watch it. I think it would really bother me. Collect rewards. Singing stone? It rings out with a pure tone when, it, when struck. Okay, thank you for that, sir. Hmm. Anyway, so we're heading up to the community center now to see if the community center things, whatever lives in there, wants fish. Because I have some fish, and maybe they want it. So NX Flareon says Powerpuff Girls is back on Cartoon Network. Like, the original one or the new one? Because the original, I think they started putting on Netflix now. I don't know if, I don't, I don't know if it's all the seasons, though. It might only be, like season four or something random which i never understand why they do that Ooh, no i already gave them a shot sad tiger chat and catfish man does anybody want this other fish probably not <sighs> some of these bundles man i'm not good at community centering clearly Uh, Sailor Moon Crystal is the new one, but it's a little wonky. Sailor Moon was really sad face, sad face, sad face. Or Sailor Moon Crystal. Yeah, I... I kind of saw advertisements for it, and I was like, this is not the same Sailor Moon that I remember. <laughs> so... I guess I was being kind of a snob and not really giving it a chance, but... I don't know. You have certain expectations for things, especially things that you're nostalgic about. And when they completely change it it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to love it they're rebooting the justice league and i was really excited about it because kevin conroy and mark hamill are going to be voicing batman and joker which they did in the animated series and the other uh just league series so i was really excited about it but then i saw the animation and now i'm a little bit leery because it looks very much like teen titans go and uh, uh, I don't know. I just don't. I should probably put some jelly in there. Or some grapes in there. Um, but I just, I don't know if it's going to be any good. And if they don't get Susan Eisenberg to voice Wonder Woman, then I am just going to be very upset. Because she is hands down the best Wonder Woman ever. But, yeah, if they make it really weird, like Teen Titans Go, then I, I don't know. I just can't imagine Kevin Conroy voicing, like, a weird Batman, though. Like, a dorky one. <laughs> like, that, that image doesn't really work, so I'm hoping that it's better than, than that. But, I guess we'll have to see. Um, okay. I guess I'll keep this stuff. Singing stone, I'll put here. 
<laughs> Play with it. Uh, Nostica? Is that how you say your name? Nostica? I'm assuming the G is silent. Uh, if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, please let me know. But, uh, he says, it's more like Teen Titans. No. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> yeah, I... Oh. Uh, oh, Teen Titans. I was never a huge fan of Teen Titans, not because I didn't like it, but I, it was another thing I wasn't exposed to as a kid. Um, but I have seen a little bit of Teen Titans, and then I saw a little bit of Teen Titans Go, and I was shocked, I guess, would be the best term. <laughs> uh, I was quite shocked at how that show took a turn. Thank you for the follow. Captain Quinlan says, Sailor Mars is my girlfriend. Really? Well, I didn't know that. I'm glad. I hope you two are happy together. Don't tell Morgan, though. She would be a little jelly. Alright. It is only four o'clock. Like, what should, what should I do? I could sneak over and fish a little bit. I know it's not really that interesting. Why did I go in my house? I know it's not that interesting, but my fishing level is really, really low. As you guys saw, like, I just got to level two. Oh my gosh, another follow. Thank you. I really wish I could see it, but my mic stand is, like, in the way, and it's just not really working. Uh, yeah, I guess I have to go down here and around. How the greats have fallen. Voltaire, <laughs> you speak true wisdom. Uh, FK306, Justice League being compared to Teen Titans Go is nightmare worthy. Yes, I know. Like, I love, love, love the Justice League so much. And I would never watched it as a kid. Like, I never, I never saw it. I don't know if I just didn't have those channels at the time because it was with that weird time where it was like cable and like, you know, you'd either have Nickelodeon or you'd have Cartoon Network. And so I don't know if I ever, like, I, I think I just missed it. But um, now that I'm an adult, I've actually, you know, watched it on Netflix and everything, and I love it. So I was really excited to hear that they're rebooting it, but then I was like, oh, it's by the same guy that does Teen Titans Go. I'm very scared. So we'll have to see. I don't know. I want to give it a shot. I would really like to see them reboot it, but only if they do it right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ah! Oh god, I hate fishing so much. And this fish doesn't want to come home with me. Why would you not want to come home with me? Just because I'm going to eat you, probably? Not really. I'm just going to put you in a shipping box. I mean, it's not really that bad. The fish hate me. I could have made bait, I guess. I didn't really think about that. I forgot that I now have that crafting recipe. Ah! There it goes. Nope. 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 Why? Why must you do this to me? Why can't you just be like Animal Crossing fishing? You know? You know? No? Oh my gosh, this, that was like the longest freaking fishing section ever. Well, it's back, I guess. No! Why do you gotta jump? Like, we're just, we're just chilling at the bottom of the bar and then you gotta, you know, you gotta pull this, these magic tricks. And, uh... Ah! Got it. What is it? Rainbow Trout. Wasn't that one that I needed for the community center? No, that might have been a tiger trout, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Crap. I could clear out my farm. I might do that tomorrow. Captain Quindolin is very salty about Teen Titans Go. I just see a paragraph of anger there. Uh, they ruined it and destroyed all the meaningful messages from Teen Titans, like some of the hard things they went through, as cheesy as that sounds. Yeah, I saw the Waffles episode, or at least a good bit of it, and I would have to agree. If you don't know what the Waffle episode is, just look it up. Mysterious Mr. Enter, who is an amazing youtuber he does a lot of reviews of cartoons and he is oh i love his sass he's really really funny 
but he did a review on the waffles episode and i was like oh my god this was an actual episode of the show <laughs> so yeah it really sucks and it's super weird because they have all the same voice actors so it like it's kind of a reboot but at the same time soggy news thank you for that trash but at the same time it's kind of like you would expect it to be totally different um you, you would expect them to have different voice actors because it's a completely different tone and the characters are even drawn differently but they have all the same voice actors so it's almost jarring i think and that's what i am terrified is going to happen to justice league i really hope it doesn't because i will cry also i'm also very annoyed that the uh the live action justice league movie is not gonna have hawk girl in it that is upsetting because that means that Wonder Woman is going to be the only female in the entire Justice League. And I'm just like, really? Can we not? Please. And they put Cyborg in there. And I'm just like... Uh, can't he stay in Teen Titans? Like, couldn't we have had Jon Stewart, Green Lantern? Couldn't we have that? No? Okay. Well. <laughs> I mean, I, I still think I'm going to like the movie, but... I'm just kind of sad that Hawkgirl isn't going to be in it. Because I think that would have been really cool. Alright, I'm, I'm done fishing. <laughs> I probably didn't level up. I don't think I really caught... I only caught three fish, so... Probably not going to level up. But... Baby steps. Baby steps. Epic Girl says, I have to leave now, but I'll definitely watch the rest of your stream on YouTube later on. Love this series. Once I replace my keyboard, I'm getting this game. <laughs> definitely get it it's totally worth it like it's a great harvest moon-esque game and for 15 dollars like you really can't go wrong natsuka says hopefully but dc has made some poor choices when it comes to entertainment especially with their movies i actually really liked batman vs superman i know a lot of people didn't but i liked it a lot except for i really didn't like their interpretation of lex luther i just i didn't like that at all but otherwise i was thoroughly entertained by the movie and i really liked ben affleck i like i like the broody batman the pissy batman <laughs> that's like my favorite so i mean i i enjoyed it i think a lot of people made up their minds that they weren't gonna like it before they went in to see it which is it seems like that's how movies are especially now like, everybody kind of has a preconceived notion of how the movie's going to be long before the movie is actually out, and it's kind of unfortunate, because I think when you do that, it's hard to sway your, your opinion, you know what I mean? Like, it's hard to figure out what your actual opinion is, which is one of the reasons why I tried not to watch anything or read anything about the movie before I went to see it, but anyway, um... FK306 says, Fishing does get easier with every level up. Thankfully, I'm at level 7, but still struggle with certain legendary fish. Well, I struggle with everyday fish, so I feel your pain. Captain Quinlan says, I don't think Susan would stand for that kind of writing for the Justice League, though. <laughs> oh, I love her so much. If you don't follow her on Twitter, she is, like, the sweetest person ever. And uh, Susan Eisenberg, the voice of Wonder Woman. Like, I just, I love her so much. Got some new items in stock, a deluxe fishing pole, and some bait that you can attach to it. You could use bait to make fish bite faster. Hope to see you soon, Willy. Well, Willy. Good to know. Thank you, Willy. For that little update. Yeah, I don't know if, uh, if any of the voice actors would be down with, uh, them doing that to the Justice League, but, I mean, it's hard to say, because... They don't have any say in it, and they probably wouldn't really know until they got there, you know what I mean? Like, they probably wouldn't know what the writing was going to be like until they were actually in there, so, I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, Unsafe Chicken says, I bought my brother the game randomly because I think it's worth double the price for me. It is. It definitely is. I mean, Story of Seasons is still... Last time I checked, it was still going for like $35 used at GameStop, so... I mean, they retain their value. And, uh, this is, you know, half that. 
less than, so definitely worth it. And a lot of people don't have a 3DS or any kind of system to play Harvest Moon on, you know what I mean? So I think it's great that it's on PC. It really uh, kind of opens up uh, Harvest Moon in general. It kind of opens it up for people who may not have really been into the series before because they just didn't have a platform to play it on. Oh my gosh, all the blueberries. All the blueberries. All the blue- look at them all! <laughs> well that was fun, I want to do that again. Ooh, I got one gold star blueberry, that's exciting. Oh, apparently blueberries are one of the best things that you can grow in summer because they grow back. Like, it takes them a while to grow, but then they start growing back and apparently- well first off, look how many I got. I got 36 in that one little bunch. And, uh, and then they grow back every couple days, so. That is good. Oh, I already have stuff going on in the jelly maker, though, so. Maybe I should make another one of those, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Uh, crafting. What do I need for the preserves jar? 50 wood, 40 stone, and 8 coal. Okay. Um, I just watered the chest. That happens a lot. Alright, so 50 wood. 40 stone. I love the noise that it makes when you, like, kick one of these. And 8 coal. Alright, so let's not- let's stop watering the ground. I mean, that would be, I think, the best thing to do. And we'll make another preserve jar and put, put a blueberry in there. All right, there you go. They look so weird, they're like dancing. Penmore says, what I really want is a good Spider-Man movie, possibly one with superior Spider-Man. I am not as familiar with Marvel, which is probably going to upset some people, but it's true. So, I can't really say. I did really like- I, I do like the lore of Spider-Man, though. What I do know. And X-Men. I really like X-Men a lot. But I don't really know a lot about Captain America or the Avengers or anything. Personally. What am I doing? What should I do today? I guess I'll go mining today. And keep missing the chest that has my tools in it. Because that's fun. Okay. Did I keep those, or... Okay, so I'll sell this one. Sell the peppers. Hmm, what should I bring for stamina? Probably... A leek. One leek. And... Some white algae. I'll do that. I think that'll be good. And I want to check the Adventurer's Guild because there's different, like, kind of mini quests in there. And I haven't really checked to see how close I am to completing any of them, so I wanted to do that. And I should check the community center again to see if they want a rainbow trout. Because, of course, I can't remember. And I forgot to put my watering can away. Great! Now! Okay. There we go. Natsuka says, have you seen the Netflix Daredevil series? I have not, but I've heard good things. Again, there are so many shows that I really want to watch, or at least try, and I just haven't had time. I usually just throw on a random stream and, like, do other things, really. Wait, should I buy more seeds? Maybe? Probably. Alright, we're gonna buy some more seeds quick. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Yeah! Uh, 12, 12 days. That's a long time, sir. Uh, I guess I'll get some more peppers. Because they only take a couple days. So. Get some more of those. Get some wheat. And some radishes. And I think that's... No, I don't want to carry them on my head. Alright. Now we're good to go up to the 
Hot Spring, real quick. Wait, Community Center first, then Hot Spring. Yes. Because I thought... I thought maybe they wanted a rainbow trout. I can never remember because there's so many fish. Huh, tiger trout. Great. Look at this derpy fish. That's my favorite. That looks like something that would be in Spongebob. Tilapia. I caught you a delicious bass. Bream I already have. So... Nobody wants my rainbow trout? Really? I'm offended. FK306 says, it would be better to place regular blueberries instead of star blueberries because it would result in the same jelly. Oh, really? I didn't know that uh, cooking doesn't didn't have star quality because it does in Story of Seasons. Okay, that's good to know. Thanks for that little tip. Sylveon X Flareon says, what did you miss? Uh, I don't know. We kind of talked about Justice League and Batman vs. Superman and Teen Titans Go a little bit. It's probably what you missed. Penmore says, Superior Spider-Man is Dr. Otto Octavius, otherwise known as Dr. Octopus, in Peter Parker's body since he swapped their minds. Oh, that sounds interesting. I was always fascinated by him. I mean, like, I only really saw him in, um, Spider-Man 2, let's be real. But, I still thought he was kind of a cool villain. What is your guys' favorite villain from Marvel or DC? Who's your favorite villain? Stampeding Raccoons, what year is this? This is year one. This is the first year, very, very early on in the game. It's summertime, so... Haven't gotten too far. Um, I did record, like, the full let's play up until this point on my youtube channel so if anybody wants to see like from the very beginning they can go there there's like i want to say 12 or 13 parts so i try to show most of the game if possible so we're just gonna head over to the adventures guild wait are they not open yet you bastards all right fine Fine, I'll just go into the mine, forget you. 55, all right, let's, ah, a ghost, it's grandpa, no, not again. He keeps haunting me ever since I got his letter. What the heck, he just like disappeared. Why didn't you give me something? No, no. Goodbye, slime. The ghosts take forever. Thank you. Oh, did I get two solar essences from him? Thanks, bro. Thanks for that. Hopefully we can find some fire quartz eventually so I can finish that bundle. And some gold. That would also be nice. But in all honesty, I'm really just looking for the ladder. How many floors does this have? 180? What is it? Anybody know? Odin Skag says, easy, Joker. Joker is an awesome villain. I'm really interested to see what they do with the Killing Joke movie. That was really the first, I think that was like the first comic I ever read. And it was still very recently. Like I think it, I read it last year, I wanna say. Cause I'm just getting into comics now but uh, I'm actually reading Mad Love right now well I finished it, it it's in a it's kind of in a compilation it, there's like Mad Love and then there's other stories in there but that's the one where Harley Quinn and the Joker meet for the first time and all that stuff it's very good Captain Quindolin says, I love me some Harley. Harley is really fun. She's a fun villain. I think it's it's good because she balances the Joker out a little bit because he's so, like, 
crazy and she's like just kind of like lovesick crazy it's kind of two different kinds of crazies but they're an I they have an interesting dynamic between the two of them Captain Quinlan says 120. 120 what? 120 what? Floors? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, and if I miss the ladder, somebody please tell me because I've done that before and it's really annoying. Uh, are we gonna find it like this year? Probably not. We've been in the mines for a couple hours and we still haven't found the ladder. Unless I missed it, which is entirely possible. Did I miss it? Ten more, too many to actually pick my favorite. Have you read Suicide Squad? I have not. I have not. I'm very, very new to comics. Again, it was just something I was never exposed to as a kid. Nobody I knew read them. Nobody had them. So, ooh, Omni Geode. What the heck is that thing? That looks like birthday cake. Like the ice cream, not an actual birthday cake. <laughs> but with all the sprinkles. A blacksmith can break this open. These geodes contain a wide variety of minerals. Ooh, I'm excited about that. What's in there? I must know. Are we really gonna have to break every single... Ugh! You know what? Now I'm just irritated. <laughs> like, last time we got really lucky. Like, we got down several floors. But I just didn't have the stamina. Which apparently I don't now because it took me so long to get to level 56. Oh my goodness. And then these jumping weird sea urchin things. And the slime. Can't forget the slime. <sighs> okay, I'm probably gonna have to eat something. I guess I'll eat the white algae. Here, eat this. Eat this. That is probably quite disgusting, but... Oh well. Captain Quinlan says there's 120 floors. 120? Are you serious? I thought there was only 100. What? Uh, Odin Skag says, by the way, seen the trailer for Teen Titans vs. Just League. I have not. I have not. I am very interested, though. I guess I'll eat this. Come on, man. I'm always like less inclined to um, watch one of those movies where it's like a different Wonder Woman. <laughs> And especially when she's with Superman, because I just and I'm pretty sure in the new in some of, in a lot of the newer movies, like they have them together, and I just I don't like it. I don't like them together. Uh, I really need to start bringing more like stamina items because <sighs> yes, I oh god, no. 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 I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Captain Quinlan says, in the new 52, she's with Superman in the comics. Yes, I know that, and it upsets me greatly. I just don't- I don't like them together at all. Bothers me. What is this thing here for? Can somebody explain, like, the dwarf's thing? Like, why he's here? Do I have to give him something? Like, just- what is his purpose? I don't know. All I know is I'm sad because I have no stamina. I just want to get down to the bottom of the mine. And it's never going to happen. I guess I could have gone to the Adventurer's Guild, but I forgot. And did not go. FK306 says that you need to find all four dwarf scrolls and donate them to the library so that you can learn the language. Oh, okay. Penmore, you should really bring, 
bring bombs more often, helps clear out the rocks and some enemies. Right. I forget about that. I forget that bombs exist. I only have two cherry bombs. And I think I have one regular bomb. I should bring those, though. I was really mad because um, the night that I actually... Like, the only night that I actually didn't make it home in time um, was the night... I, I had one floor left to get to 60. And... I did not make it, and I was very upset about it. Okay. Frozen geodes. Wait. Um. I guess I'll make some more iron bars. Oh, copper can go in there. Okay. Nope. I didn't want that one. Stone can go in there. Oh man, I should have saved some stamina because I forgot I I forgot I bought these seeds. <sighs> okay. I don't I don't think I got any regular geodes, so I'll I'll have to have the blacksmith open up these though. No, wait, I want that back. I do want to sell the fish. And I guess that's it. I really want to level up fishing because I want it to be easier. <laughs> it's very hard. I'm not good at it. At all. So I guess I'll have to plant... I guess I'll have to plant this stuff tomorrow. I don't even know if planting seeds takes your stamina or if it's just the watering can. But whatever, I'll just do that tomorrow. And we'll just go to sleep. Two Harbor says you can also craft a staircase. Yeah, I I really wish I would have because if I would have had that with me, I would have gotten there. I would have gotten to level 60. It would have been nice. Level 4 combat, plus 5 HP. That is useful. And new crafting recipe, warrior ring. Huh. Alright. I haven't crafted any rings yet. I do have a magnet ring from the community center, but it just draws objects to you like from further away. Is it raining? I think it is. Uh, what did I want to look at? I wanted to look at something, and now I can't remember what it was. Oh, bait only takes bug meat? Well, that's easy. I can make that. Oh, right, warrior ring. Ten iron bars and ten frozen tears. Holy crap. Occasionally infuses the, the wearer with warrior energy after slaying a monster. Huh. Well, that takes a lot of crap, though. So, I'm gonna wait on that. And... I have a lot of iron bars. I did not realize how many of those I have. I gotta be ready to upgrade my stuff. No. I always pick the wrong chest. Every... Time. Every single time. Did I just get wheat from that? Okay. No, I didn't. <laughs> you are always facing the wrong way, person. Every time. Um... Okay, I guess we'll just throw some fertilizer down and plant some wheat. And then some peppers. And what was the other thing? Radishes. Oh, well, I guess I'll plant them right here where the other radishes were. That works. Gonna have to make some more fertilizer then. Getting a little bit low. Prince Damon Wolf says, I love watching you play this game. Oh, thank you. I'm glad. I was like, I'm very surprised. There are like 27 people watching right now, and I thought there was going to be about two. And I thought they would get bored and leave a long time ago. Because it can be kind of difficult to find things to talk about. 
when playing like a game like this, you know what I mean? But uh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. It's kind of just laid back. Just having fun. Hmm, okay, I want to break these open. Sell my radishes. That is a lot of energy. Hold up. Hold up. I might actually put that. No, there is no room to put them in there. Hmm. Do I have to make another chest? Probably. Well, we're gonna do that. <laughs> I have like so many of these and I just keep making them. I wonder how many I'm gonna have by like year two, probably 500 maybe. But I'm gonna put the radishes in there and actually take them with me and eat them instead of selling them. So. Hmm, should we go back in the mines or should we uh, go fishing? What do you guys want to do? You tell me. I'm bringing the hoe because every time I don't bring the hoe, I see a thing of worms and then I'm mad that I didn't bring my hoe. This is just a little piece of advice. Always bring a hoe. That will apply to every aspect of your life. FK306 says, I always love your videos, Leslie P here, so of course I would jump by watching you play live. Oh, thank you, Leslie. I know exactly who you are. Not in a creepy way, though. Do you think it's okay to forgive someone that betrayed and backstabbed you multiple times? Hmm. Uh, I'm assuming this is like a real life thing and not, not like Linus, you know, stealing from me when I passed out. It really depends on the situation. Um... I've had that happen to me before, and it takes me a long time to get to the point where I'm done with you, honestly. Like, I usually just kind of, I'm pissed, and then I get over it, and I'm like, alright, whatever. But, uh, once I'm done with a person, like, that's kind of it, you know what I mean? Like, I just kind of stop caring, so I guess you kind of have to figure out what your limit is. I mean, how much are you gonna let yourself take before it's too much? And then, I did not even see the melons. I missed the melons! But, uh, yeah, you gotta kind of figure out what your limit is with people. And how much you're willing to take. And, how you know, when is enough enough, basically. And then kind of go from there. Like, I have gotten people out of my life who have just, I mean, I mean hurt me and... And it took me a long time, but eventually I got to the point where I was like, you're always going to be doing this, you're never going to change, so it's about time, you know? So, I hope that helps a little bit. I'm definitely not an expert on life, but I try. I can put the ghost fish in a bundle? I did not see the ghost fish in a bundle, though. Are you sure that one's unlocked? Because I didn't see that. I mean, I could have missed it. I t totally could have missed it. Hmm, he might see me if I trash pick there. Oh, let's check the bulletin board. Need a pike. Well, guess- Hold on, hold on, hold on. Need a pike to bring to my evening book club. It what? Why do you need a pike for your book club? What is she doing at her book club? <laughs> I'm scared. I'm never going to Leah's book club. Was she reading Fifty Shades of Grey? I don't want to know what she's doing with that pike. Sylvia Flareon, I'm glad to have helped you a little bit. I do- I, I try. I've, I've kind of been- I've been around a little while now. I feel like I can say that. I'm an adult. And, uh, so I feel like there's a lot of shit that I never- really understood and nobody explained to me growing up and I made a lot of mistakes. I, I'm the oldest of my siblings and we I, I don't live with any of them. I never have. We're separated for, you know, just various reasons. But, uh, so I never really had a big sister or brother to really explain certain things to me. And, uh, so if I can help any of you guys then that's great because, trust me, I wish I would have learned stuff 
a long time ago. Things that I'm learning now as an adult, I really wish I would have known when I was 16 because I feel like I would have been a totally different person and a happier person. Ancient drum. Oh, that's cool. All right, we're going to give him the, the birthday cake ice cream. Are you serious? One stone. You kidding me, sir? Whatever. I do like the ancient drum, though. That's pretty cool. Um, it is in the specialty fish bundle with the puffer fish. Really? Man, did I miss- I'm sorry. <laughs> I missed, thanks. Unsavious chicken, fish, and book, and book club. <laughs> fish and book club. Ooh, I got a reward for that. Good. That's right. A drum block. Plays a drum sound when you walk past. Oh, that wouldn't annoy anyone who came to my house and furniture okay cool two harbors kitty you should read the books in the museum they're the lost books you've dug up oh i probably ah i don't want to place this painting here i probably should Do, is that like a you want me to read them does anything happen if i read them on foraging, the local woods and mountains are great places to find wild produce. A good forager will clear out any weeds, stumps, or stones from these areas so the wild produce has plenty of space to grow. Uh, I didn't know that that was a thing. Expert foragers know the secret to cultivating wild food so that it can be grown on the farm. Isn't that amazing? I didn't know that you could actually clear out other areas. That is interesting. The Fisherman Act 1. Text. Gordy, how do you catch so many fish? For me, it takes forever. You must make the choice to become a tree fisherman. A true- <laughs> I read that as tree. You must make the choice to become a true fisherman. And over time, your fishing speed will increase. So you're saying that improving my fishing skills will take me- will make me fish faster? Correct. One day, you may even learn the secret to creating your very own bobbers, improving your master even more. Now be gone! Gordy is intense as fuck. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> wow. Tips on farming. Use fertilizer to improve quality, reduce workload, or hasten crop growth. Fruit trees take a while, take a whole season to grow. They require very little maintenance. Keep the area directly around your new sapling clear or else it may not grow properly. It's just like completely sideways <laughs> growing out of the ground. Crops will die as soon as the season ends unless they grow multiple seasons, example corn. Some crops such as kale and wheat need to be harvested for this life. Thank you for that. Hey, I read this play. Why is this book still here? Captain Quindlin says oldest grandchild too. You've, you've taught me a lot, Jedi Master. <laughs> I guess that's right. I am the oldest grandchild. Because I was unplanned. Do you like my song? You should. I wrote it myself. Okay, so people are saying fish, so I'm gonna fish. I don't know why you guys want to watch me fish, because it's just gonna piss me off, but, uh, maybe that's why you want to watch me fish. Haha! -ha. See? See? Always bring a hoe. You can quote me on that. Man, I was just there. <sighs> I was just there, and now I'm gonna have to go back. I mean, I'm happy to find the anchor. Maybe he'll tell me about the Little Mermaid or something. Oh, God, Willie. He scared me. You see him creeping up there? Jeez, I've never seen him, like, out. And he's just, like, there. Oh, no, what? Got this old amulet to sell, but something tells me you're not ready for it, miss. What a creep. I He's gonna, like, f open his overcoat and flash me. Penmore, that song was both cheerful and heavy at the same time. <laughs> All of my songs are both cheerful and heavy. I'm not bitter at all. <laughs> Alright, let's take the anchor to Prospector. I always forget his name, I just call him Prospector. Oh wow, I filled up this row. Hmm, I guess will go here then oh no the thing went no my that went up okay good it didn't affect my toolbar i don't know how i shifted that whole thing up but i accidentally did that and i was afraid it was gonna like ruin my toolbar which would have really upset me 
Okay, so now we're gonna go fish. Um, let's fish here, actually, not in the ocean. Let's see what happens. Unsafe is chicken. I cannot tell what your emote is doing. I can't tell if he's pointing, giving a thumbs up, or picking his nose. <laughs> Any anyone else want life advice while I'm fishing and have nothing else to do? <laughs> Free life advice. No! Man, I should have made bait. Gwendolyn, you look like you need life advice. I can see you over there. Yes. All right. Oh gosh. This one's this one's a sassy one. No, really? Come on. Come on now. Come on. No. No. So close. I was so close. No. No. He's hanging on. Come on. No. Come on. Oh my gosh. Like fishing is supposed to be really chill. And I feel like it is the most stressful thing that I've done in this game, and it just causes me to scream. Which you guys know, I don't really do that much. Unless Fritz is involved, then I scream a lot because it's Fritz. Oh my gosh, after all that, after all that, really. <laughs> Sylveon X Flareon, do you think everyone in the world is good? No, I do not. Actually. I would like to believe that everyone is altruistic, but I know for a fact that they are not. When you're brought up with somebody mm -hmm. who basically... I, d I don't want to say evil because mm -hmm. there are people who are a lot more evil out there. But when you're brought up by somebody who is very selfish mm -hmm. and cruel, you kind of have a darker look on life mm -hmm. I think and you kind of see the darker side of people like I'm very cautious of people because of that so as much as I wish that people were all honestly good people they're just not I mean not everyone I I don't mean to say like everyone's like terrible or evil or anything like that that's not what I'm saying I just mean like not everyone is good we all have the ability to be good but it's I mean it's a choice thing you know. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, not everyone chooses the best path. So. There you go. Somewhat interesting outlook on life from me. I think that was my first star fish, so that's pretty cool. Two fish. Wish I would get some for the community center, though. Unsafe's chicken says, did you try a controller? I have not. I feel like I'm so used to the keyboard now that I... I don't know. I don't know if I want to play with a controller now because I'm so used to the keyboard. But... I don't know. I just keep hoping that maybe I'll get good at it. <laughs> like, I'll just wake up one day and and just be amazing at it. Pemmore says, you know, if you really want the fishing to go easier, there is a mod that makes it a bit slower. I have seen that, but, like, I don't like it when technology beats me. So, I'm very stubborn, and, like, I just want to be good at it. Great, trash, thank you. So, yeah. <laughs> There's Willy creeping again, jeez. Him and his little hat. Nausicaa says there are just some bad people in the world. Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately, that is the case. It's just... I mean, for a lot of reasons. I think a lot of people just... They've had it rough and... I don't know. They want to make other people feel as shitty as they feel, I guess. 
FK306 says, when I first started fishing in this game, I wanted to cry with how hard it was. I'm better now, but the puffer fish is giving me such an incredibly hard time. Can only catch in the summer during the early afternoon. That would be super annoying. Is that why I'm only getting the same fish? Because I tend to fish... Ah, no, 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 no. Because I tend to fish later in the day? Because I keep getting these stupid breams, and I don't... Which I think are a night fish. But I haven't gotten an eel or the other night fish that you need for the community center, so if anybody knows where to get those, that would be fabulous. Because I just keep getting the same freaking fish. Unsaved chicken. Oh, hold on. I will read that in a second. I must, I must catch the fish. No! Was that another shad? I feel like it was. Yeah. Should I go somewhere else? Is that my problem? Oh, eel is only in spring. Clint! Goodbye, Clint. And summer in the evening. Okay. The Zave's chicken says, heard it makes fishing a lot faster. I never did keyboard and mouse on the hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've been playing it too long with the keyboard by this point that I feel like... And normally I'm not like that. Normally, I am more of a console gamer, for sure. So, I am definitely not used to a uh, mouse and keyboard at all. Like I, But now, for this game, I've gotten used to it. So, I feel like if I started using a controller, it would really mess me up. <laughs> so. Come on, come on, I want the, I want the treasure. I want the- yeah! Man, did I get both? I don't think I did. Sad. Alright, well, it's 8 o'clock. Hmm. Ah! I always end up going into the cemetery. It's a depressing... state. Just wake up in the cemetery all the time. Did I trash pick everywhere? I didn't trash pick there. Oh, I forgot about my drum block. I'm very excited about that. Just have all sorts of fun musical toys. Any worms? No, of course not, because I have my hoe. If I didn't have my hoe, there'd be worms everywhere. Because that's luck. Okay. Well, I don't need you, or you, or you. That's trash, so I'm keeping that. Apparently you can get some kind of recycling thing and then uh, you can put your trash in there. Yes! This is fun. But I kind of want to move it. You guys like my song? Beautiful. I guess I'll just leave it there for now. And, uh, we'll put some stuff away. But anyway, yeah, you get, um, you can get a recycler, or you can build it at some point, and then you can throw all the trash in there and make it in, like, I guess you can sell it then. So that's kind of why I'm keeping all my trash. I'm not just hoarding the trash. I'm not that bad of a hoarder, despite what you probably think. Okay, got some more clay. Put that random stone in there. I guess I'll keep the algae because I can always eat it. Oh, I forgot about that painting. I have that too. Hmm. I should probably keep a sea urchin because I don't have one in here. I have so much coral. Why do I have so much coral? Why, why did I keep it? I mean, I know that it's something that Elliot likes, but it's not like his favorite thing or anything, so why am I hoarding it? I don't know the answers to these questions. I'm just asking them rhetorically. What is that? Is that a twig? Driftwood. Oh, that's trash. Okay, so I'll keep that. Let's sell the oyster and the mussel. The sweet pea. And then just keep the trash. Nausicaa says, I was console, but now I am PC all the way. It's especially easy to record on PC than through the console. It requires less wires for PC. That is true. It is a lot easier to record on your PC than from a console. 
Um, where am I gonna put this painting? <laughs> Block the window so no one can see in my house. Can I, like, turn it? Or something? No? Well, then it's gonna go in here. For right now. So, there. The storm is... Whoa! Whoa, did you guys hear that? I heard a tree fall. I think a tree legit just fell somewhere. I swear I heard it. What? From the storm, I guess. I don't see it though. That disturbs me because I definitely heard it. That is creepy, but also kind of cool. Like a kind of cool feature. I should probably get some of this grass away from my crops. Whoa! Can you get electrocuted? Because I feel like I would get electrocuted in this game. That is like my life. I also love how you can, um, like if you're using the scythe, or in this case the sword, because swords are better. If you're using that, you can't actually hurt your crops. Like, it doesn't cut down your crops, because I've accidentally done that before in har other Harvest Moon games. Like, I've accidentally used the scythe on them. And it is really depressing. Let me tell you. Okay, so I'll put these guys back. And get my watering can. Copper ore going. Oh, jelly's done. Ah, oh, so much going on. Like, right now. Yeah, I guess we'll do some blueberry as well. How much more does the jelly sell for than the actual fruit? I don't know if anybody knows that. Because it takes so long for the jelly to be done. Okay. So much copper. K306 says, I heard the newest patch is able to affect trees now. Oh, okay. Yeah, it just updated. This game updates all the time. Oh my gosh, it's one o'clock. Crap. Captain Quinlan says, I fear advice. <laughs> How hard do I kick that guy in my homeroom who bothered me today that I told you about? Um, you should kick him really hard. I don't know if I am allowed to say what this person said to you, but if I am, I will say it, but I want to respect your privacy if you're not cool with that. Um, level 5 farming, choose a profession, rancher, animal products worth 10% more, or tiller, crops worth 10% more. Well, obviously tiller, because I have no animals, so. We made bank today, look at that! And we even made some with fishing. Oh, okay, I can tell the story? Okay. Um, Captain Quindolin, she's my mod, she's my cousin, and today, somebody in her class, well, I guess somebody said something to her about her girlfriend who is her actual girlfriend not just a friend who is a girl and some kid looked at her and said you need Jesus in your life and I said you need to kick that guy in the balls because that's really messed up don't try to force your views on other people it's just it doesn't it doesn't go over well and it's 2016, like, this shouldn't even be an issue anymore. Like, I'm almost just tired now of it, that so many people are just really anti, I mean, whatever it is. There are still people who are sexist, there are still people who are, you know, racist and homophobic and everything. It's just sad to me, really, that there are still people who are just so hateful and I am a and, and this is coming from somebody who's a complete pessimist like you know I was never happy-go-lucky kind of person or anything like that but it's just like come on uh fk306 says blueberry no star is 80g blueberry jam is 210g okay well that is a big difference but it's still a lot of time and I need the muns. Oh, my corns, my corns. Not the kind of corns that are on your feet, but the good kind of corns. 
Ooh, star fruit. I forgot that I planted that. I guess I'll keep that because I only had the one. I want to grow more of those. That's cool. They remind me of the Palpu fruit from Kingdom Hearts. Which makes me happy because I love Kingdom Hearts. Crap. I was behind. My goal is to get the watering can leveled up again before, like, at the very end of summer for fall. So that's going to be 5,000 G, which is a lot. Which makes me sad. <laughs> um, Sylveon X Flareon says, are you going to stream till 10? Uh, what time is it? It is 9.06. Um, I'll probably stream till 9.30. I think I don't think I'm gonna go till 10 I mean it'll depend on when the day ends because obviously I can't end in the middle of a day but uh yeah I'm thinking 9 30 I kind of lost track of time because my computer's time is frozen because it's on my other monitor and I'm not using that monitor so it kind of froze <laughs> but um, I should probably get more seeds actually you get some more radish seeds or something Somebody said I can refine quartz if I put, do I have to, oh, I have to use coal for that. Right. Oh, I guess I will do that. I'm running out of coal though. I'm gonna have to get some more soon. Goodbye. I really need to um, spend some time with Bay eventually. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna mine today. Bring some radishes. Get in my bag. And then maybe tomorrow we'll go fishing. Again. Tubby Tab says, Kita Senpai noticed me. I notice you. Senpai always notices. I read every comment that I get. Even if it takes me a while to respond, because I've been getting a lot lately. <laughs> um like I'll go on YouTube and it'll be like 30 plus comments so I I do work hard to read them all I do get email you're close you're close no why are you close um I do get email notifications when you guys comment so I definitely read them all the time they just sometimes they get buried under other comments and I usually try to oh man <laughs> you saw me again <laughs> Lewis hates me so much I don't even care why did I go this way? That was really dumb. I should not have gone this way. But, um, anyway, I do read all of them, but I usually try to answer them in batches because there's so many, so I usually just kind of sit down and go through them and reread them and everything, but, um, I do read all of them and I do appreciate them. So, thank you. Captain Conan says, why are your doors closed to the public? <laughs> There's a video of this guy that's outside of the store, and I don't remember what store it was, but he was, like, screaming because they were closed. I mean, just screaming. It's a video on YouTube, and I, I can't remember, like, what it's called or anything. But then this kid runs up beside him and, like, plasters himself to... <laughs> the door and like he doesn't say anything but he just kind of like like pushes against the door as this guy's screaming <laughs> and just making this guy look like a total jackass but it was it was really funny i wish uh, i wish i had the uh the name for it quindlin if you find it you should like definitely put it in the chat if possible uh oh my gosh i i've lost some comments here Kingdom Hearts 3, sad face. Yes, I am with you 100%. I, Kingdom Hearts 3 is a myth. I know that they have some gameplay footage, but I think it's a myth. I'm not going to believe it's real until I'm holding it. And I'm still very salty about the fact that there is no Kingdom Hearts 3, and they keep making these stupid side games. And now they have, like, a mobile game coming out. I'm like, can you just stop, Square Enix? Can you just stop and, like, finish Kingdom Hearts 3, please? because we don't want this other crap <laughs> we really don't i think i speak for the fan base when i say we really don't 
Um, thank you, Captain Quindolin. I think you're like the only one that can post links as a mod. I don't I don't remember what the settings are for that. Uh, Tubby Tab, I found you on YouTube, Story of Seasons, one of my favorite Let's Plays of all time. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. I'm glad that people enjoy it because when I first started playing it, I was thinking to myself, nobody is going to watch this, but I don't care because I really want to play this game because I love Harvest Moon games. And then it got a following and I'm still shocked that people are so into it, but it's awesome at the same time. Not a lot of people seem to uh, Let's Play Harvest Moon games for whatever reason. I mean, it is kind of a challenge in certain areas because you'll have days where nothing happens, <laughs> which is kind of where I'm at, where I'll, I could record for two or three hours and nothing would really happen that's worth footage, and that can get a little frustrating, but it seems like a lot of people are playing Stardew Valley, though. It got really popular, which is great. I'm really happy for the developer. But thank you for watching Story of Seasons. It's... Like, I mean, it's my biggest series, and I actually did have series before Story of Seasons. That's just the earliest one that I left, because they were not very good. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, I still enjoy playing it every time I put it in my 3DS. So... Prince Damon Wolf says, I hate overly religious people who believe absolutely everyone needs to believe in God. I don't, but I respect people's beliefs and expect that in return. I agree. I think it's fine if you had, like, everybody has their beliefs, and that's great. You know, that's what makes us different. But don't force your beliefs on me. Like, that's how I feel about it. It doesn't, I don't care what your beliefs are. Like, that's fine. You know, unless it's, like, infringing on someone's rights. But... Don't try to force them on me or other people. It's You just come off as being really pretentious, you know? And then don't, you know, say, oh, you're going to hell or whatever. Because it's just not... It's not cool, man. You know? Like, that's great that you have something that you really believe in and are willing to defend and all that, but don't try to tell other people how to live their lives. Because what works for you isn't going to necessarily work for them. And Save Chicken says, right, ticks me off. They better have something on this year's E3. Yeah, I agree. But I would not be surprised if they have nothing. Because we don't even have a release date for Kingdom Hearts 3. And like I said, I will not believe it's real until I am holding it and putting it in my PlayStation 4 and seeing it on the screen. I've been waiting for it for, God, I don't even know how many years now, 10 years, 12 years. A long time, basically, is what I'm trying to get at. But no, we can have 5,000 Final Fantasies. We can't even get King Hearts 3. <laughs> Nothing against Final Fantasy, but it's just like, come on. I think you're being a little unfair, Square Enix. Prince Demo says, I really love your Harvest Moon Let's Plays. You make everything seem so entertaining, even if you're just watering crops. I love watching it all. Well, thank you. I do try to make things entertaining. <laughs> I think I'm better at games like that because it feels like whenever I try to play something that's more action-oriented, I don't know. I think I get too focused on playing the actual game and then I don't really have much to say. That's kind of why I started Shorty Plays because I wanted to show different games because a lot of my favorite games are not really chill. They're more action-y, but I don't think they would work for a full Let's Play. I think they'd work better for maybe a stream or like Shorty Plays, which are basically just highlights of my session of playing that game. And they're under four minutes. I shoot for like three minutes. But I'd really like to do that with like Saints Row 4 or Mass Effect or something. Mass Effect 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. So good. And I really want to like show it off because I love it so much. That's kind of the reason why I'm Let's Playing Phoenix Wright right now. Because I feel like it's just so overlooked. You know, not a lot of people know about it and it's such a good game. I love it so much. Eat that radish. There we go. 
All right, so we're on level 57. I would like to actually make progress in the mine, you know, today, during this stream. But who knows if that'll happen. Oh, I have a follow. Zextro, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Nasika says, I'm personally a Christian, but I'm not a crazy Christian. <laughs> hey, man. Be whatever you want to be, you know? We we just, uh, Quindolin and I just live in an area that is very rural, and people are very, very outspoken about their beliefs. I mean, very uh, it's, it's pretty bad. And a lot of times it's just frustrating because it's like, you don't know the situation that I'm in, you know what I mean? So don't, don't try to act like you do. Do I really, uh, I'm never going to make it to 57 and I, you guys keep telling me to bring bombs and I keep forgetting and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll just go kill these guys since I'm down here. I have health, I just don't have stamina. And your sword does not take up any stamina at all. Little known fact. Not really. Everybody probably knows that, but... Your sword and your scythe do not require stamina. So... Crap. I missed. Oh gosh. Prince Damon Wolf, thank you for the follow, man. Appreciate it. I am not partnered with Twitch, obviously. This is like my first Twitch stream ever. So, I'm not partnered with Twitch. Uh, maybe someday. But because I'm not partnered with them, there's no subscribe button. That's why. Uh, if anybody was wondering. Some of you don't even know how Twitch works. Like, some people were asking me, like, do I have to pay to watch on Twitch and stuff like that. So, but if you were wondering, that is why. Uh, I guess we'll head home. I, I'm never going to make it to level 60. I'll probably do it off screen and then you guys will like miss the amazing moment. Um, Captain Quindolin says, It's been a thousand years. Next time I'm down, I need to restart Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yes, you do, because you never finished it. Uh, Prince Demon Wolf, have you ever considered doing a stream of Story of Seasons? I think it'd be entertaining to watch. I have. Actually, I've been thinking about doing that more and more because there's been so many moments of, like, nothing happening. Um, when I'm playing, like, I'm just kind of doing my daily watering and taking care of animals and stuff. But I thought some people might be interested in watching, you know, just chilling and hanging out. So I've been thinking about doing that. And then I figured if anything did happen, like, if I got a cutscene or something, I could just cut it out of the stream and then insert it into the next story of seasons episode that way nobody would miss out on anything so that's kind of where i'm at with it that's just what i've been thinking about doing i don't know if that sounds like a good idea or a bad idea to you guys but uh that was just kind of my thoughts um did i get refined quartz out of there i don't remember I am really, yes, there we go. I am really depressed that I cannot make it to level 50 in the mine. Like, I've just been getting really bad luck with it. Okay. The problem is the, oh, there we go. Jelly. The problem is the stamina. Like, I just, I run out of stamina so easily, it seems like. And Alright, grape. Grape. Alright, you can have the sweet tea. Yes, I know I'm tired and need to go to bed. Don't lecture me, game. I've had enough of your sass. Um H. Chandler says, I love your videos. They make me smile even when I had a terrible day. You're definitely one of my favorite YouTubers. Oh, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. That is kind of uh, my reason for doing YouTube. Obviously, besides, you know, playing video games, which I love. But I always wanted that place to go when shit was getting hard uh, as a kid. And I, what I would do is I would read. And a lot of times get really invested in TV shows, like cartoons and stuff. 
Um, that's kind of how I escaped. So if I can give somebody else an escape, that is awesome. That's basically what I want to do. Hey there, I had some extra wood lying around. I thought maybe you could use it. Take care. Robin, you always have that extra wood lying around, you know what I'm saying? But thank you. Pam is never going to get her beer, I'm just saying. Uh, I can't even really do any of those quests right now. I mean, not really. I feel like I'm going to focus more on the friendships with people in the winter when there's less to do. I just get so caught up in farming or you know whatever I'm doing at the time and then I forget to talk to people so ah come on don't water the ground um Zextro says hey I've commented on a few of your videos love your chill attitude thank you I know I'm a very sarcastic person but I really do appreciate you guys following subbing it really does mean a lot to me. I think people kind of assume that I just have this like terrible attitude because I'm really sarcastic, but uh, I actually do really care about you guys and I appreciate you coming out to the stream and watching and commenting. I do appreciate it. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys, I have not been watering my dog. That's a very strange sentence, but I haven't. Is that bad? Will it die? Maybe I should not water it. <laughs> Sorry, dog. Does it even matter? Like, your dog doesn't have hearts, does it? I don't think so. Bender, shut up. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it does. Natsuka says, also, here's an interesting bit of information. If the actual word hell isn't even a real place in the Bible. In fact, the name hell came from the Viking goddess of the underworld and her name was hell. That is interesting and I did not know that. See, I'm getting in my educational quota for this, uh, for this stream for my channel right now. You guys giving me your facts. Prince Demon Wolf says, you are one of my favorite YouTubers. The only one I really look forward to uploading. Your videos always make me smile. Thank you. I'm really glad. I never anticipated that that would be a thing, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I, I'm always very shocked when my subs, you know, keep going up. I keep waiting for that day when, like, it just stops and everybody <laughs> leaves or something. But I do appreciate you taking the time to to watch them and to comment and to you know do all the things that you guys do because there are a ton of people on youtube so if you're taking the time out to watch me that's that's awesome unsafe's chicken says i really enjoy it ever since i saw episode one of story of seasons months ago <laughs> story of seasons is almost a year old which is very i just can't even really fathom that help wanted need gold bar for experiment well i don't have that so sucks for you sir oh I've decided I'm going to build a robot someday that should be very easy for you you should be more realistic it sounds challenging that should be very easy for you I'm not gonna be a jerk to her really are you sure you're just not trying to f are you sure you are not just trying to flatter me uh yeah I mean I don't really want in your pants so Somebody asked me a while ago who my favorite, like, girl is in this game. Uh, I'm not anticipating romancing a girl. I'm romancing Elliot, obviously, because he has a house on the beach. And he is an underwear model, probably. And models for all of those romance trashy novels that you see in Barnes & Noble. But uh, if we're going on personality, probably Abigail, because she has that Super Nintendo in her room. But if we're going on looks, probably Leah. So, I hope that answers your question. That was from forever ago. You're probably not in the stream anymore. Where did I get this fish? Oh, I must have just got it out of the trash. Well, that works. Free fish. Man, their trash probably smelled really bad. Uh, Prince Demon Wolf says, I watched your story of Seasons Let's Play and just had to get the game for myself weeks ago. I'm in year three. You're the reason I had to play it. Oh, thank you. Can you tell X-Seed that? 
<laughs> Just be like, hey. Sponsor this person. <laughs> they were really nice, though. Um, hooking me up with that copy of Return to Pueblo Croix. I have not picked a winner for that yet, by the way. Because I had already bought the game when they sent me the code. So I figured I'd give it away. The contest is over. It just ended, like, midnight uh, last night. But, uh... Rafflecopter does like a random winner, so I still have to do that. I figured I would announce it tomorrow. What is that? Glass shards? Is that trash? No, it's an artifact. Okay. Uh, but I figured I'd announce it tomorrow since I'm going to be uploading a new episode of uh, Return to Pueblo Cross tomorrow. If anybody was interested in that. I do post my schedule. Uh, I have a website. It's like ketonash.wordpress or wordpress.ketonash. One of those. And it's like in my in my links. Um, it's actually down below on Twitch, but it's also on YouTube. And uh, I do have a website, so I, I try to post my schedule on there. Because a lot of people ask, like, oh, when's the next this? When's this? And so I try to keep up to date with that. If anybody's interested. Oh, no reward. Oh, well. Captain Quinlan says, Maro is my favorite. Maro is cute. I liked her other sprite though. I don't know if any of you watch Lucagen, but she streams Sturdy Valley as well. And she. <gasps> Love her! Your shoes are filled with sand. Well, I only have coral for you, so that's all you're getting. I don't have any jelly, sorry. Ah! Why don't why won't you love me? Senpai. Senpai! Um, but anyway. Lugajin has a mod on that shows one of her older sprites, or not sprites, but like character art, and I like that one better. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gwendolyn, for posting the link to my website. I also have an FAQ on there, because um, a lot of people ask me, like, have you ever played Rune Factory? The answer is no, I've never played Rune Factory. I want to. Eventually, I'll play it on my channel, but guys, I gotta get through Story of Seasons first, man. Like, especially now that I have Stardew going at the same time, because they're so similar, I don't really also want to be playing Rune Factory as well, because I feel like I, I don't want to get bored, because once I get bored, then I'm not going to want to record, and the videos aren't going to be as good. So, I'm waiting on Rune Factory, and another one I get asked is, like, if are you going to play this Harvest Moon game or this Harvest Moon game? Um... My priorities are Harvest Moon Back to Nature and or Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town, which is actually a port of Back to Nature. But those were the those were my favorite Harvest Moon games as a kid. So I definitely want to cover those. But there are a ton of others that I would love to try, uh, like Harvest Moon 64. Ooh, Tilapia. That needs to go in the community center, so that's good. Um, yeah, Harvest Moon 64. And there was one for PS2 called Save the Homeland. It wasn't that great, but it was one I had as a kid and I liked it. So I feel like I would like to show it sometime. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of other ones. A lot of people have recommended the ones for the Wii, like Animal Parade. And I haven't tried that, so that would be pretty cool. I also have the ones... I have a ton of them. I have, like... I think I have two for the Game Boy Color or Game Boy... Uh, I'm not sure which. And then I have Friends of Mineral Town. I have more Friends of Mineral Town. Those are for the Game Boy Advance. Then I have Back to Nature for PS1. I have Harvest Moon Boy and Girl, which is a port of Back to Nature for PS1, but it's for the PSP. Um, I have A Wonderful Life, Another Wonderful Life, Magical Melody. Like, I have a ton of them. So I'm never going to run out of Harvest Moon games to play. People. <laughs> so... So there is no worries about that. Story of Seasons is just taking a long time. And there's another Story of Seasons coming out soon, too. Uh, it's coming out in Japan in June, I believe, and it looks amazing. Like, I'm so excited for it. So, obviously, I'm going to be playing that once it comes out. I don't know when it's going to be localized for the U.S., though. So, don't ask. But the trailer has come out for the Japanese version, so I think it... I can never remember what the title is. It's like Harvest Moon Three Villages or something. Or not Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons Three Villages, whatever. But uh, it looks really cool, so get hyped. 
Sexter says, I binge watched Story of Seasons from episode 1 to 54. Oh my gosh. And yeah, I had to sub. Wow, that is that is some crazy willpower, sir. Or, or madam. Because <laughs> some of those episodes are like 30 minutes long. They always... A lot of times they end up being so much longer. But anyway, so those are kind of games that I'm thinking about in terms of Harvest Moon. For other games, um, a lot of people have asked about Fire Emblem. Here's the thing. Fire Emblem is a Nintendo IP, and I am very leery of doing Nintendo games. I'm not even sure if I can get away with Pokemon. I think I can because it's Game Freak and not just Nintendo, but they're very, very uh, strict about their IPs. So... I feel like, ooh, perfect! Go me. So I feel like if I tried to do Fire Emblem, it would just get copyright claimed immediately. And I do monetize my videos now. I didn't before. I'm not making that much money, but you know, any little bit helps, especially right now because I don't have a lot of hours from work. Um, but that plays a factor, unfortunately. And I just especially because Fire Emblem is so long that to go I mean it would take me months and months to, to finish that game any of them and to go that long and to know that it, basically every video would be getting copyright claimed is kind of rough so I don't know I don't expect a, a full Let's Play of Fire Emblem. I might do a, a first look at it just because I've never played a Fire Emblem game before, but all of my other Nintendo stuff, like Splatoon, I only got three episodes of that in, and then uh, I did a first impressions of Yokai Watch where I basically just played it for like an hour, I think, and just kind of talked about what I thought. Oh, somebody followed, thank you. Trying to look and fish at the same time. Not easy, not easy. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I did, like, a first impressions on Yokai Watch, which was basically just me playing it and, like, talking about it, like, what I thought of it. And that got claimed, which sucks, because it had, like, 5,000 views, and, I mean, yeah, I probably would have made, like, $2 on it, but you know what? Those are $2 that I could have had. So, yeah. Don't expect a long LP of any Nintendo game, because I'm just... I'm nervous to put anything like that out. I am going to try Pokemon eventually. I think I can get away with it, but we'll have to see. Uh, let's see. Oh, I missed it because I'm trying to read the comments. Uh, Prince, Prince Demon Wolf says, I think my favorite male character in this game is Emo Dude. <laughs> he is a fan favorite, Sebastian. He, I can see the appeal. He's an introvert. He spends most of his... He spends most of his time on the computer, so I can totally relate to that. Whoa, 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 fish. Whoa, fish. The, the sass is strong in this one. What even? What was I supposed to do there? Um, Prince Demon Wolf says, have you ever played Bravely, Def Bravely Default? I have not. I, ooh. I gotta watch my stamina. Um, Willie is over there watching me fish, which is creepy, so... Can you go away, Willie? Please. You're scaring me. Um. Anyway. I've never played Bravely Default. I don't know a lot about Japanese RPGs. I'm impatient, so... I'm not a huge fan of turn-based stuff. But to be fair, I haven't played a lot of it, so I can't really judge. You know what I mean? Um. And I would love to try, like, all of those games. Oh, halibut. Oh, I, I really gotta I really gotta stop. Crap. It's too late now. I'm already fishing. Um but I would love to try a lot of those games. I just haven't and I I have very little time right now for leisure when it comes to let's plays. I guess I'll just eat one of these fish. Um because I have four let's plays going on right now. And it's it's a lot, honestly. It really is to try to keep up with. I'm trying to get Phoenix Wright done, but it's, I mean, it's long, you know? Um, 
there's one more case after the one that I just started, so I still have a little bit to go there. And, uh, yeah, I just haven't had a lot of free time to just kind of play games on my own. They're almost always being recorded, so... I haven't really had a chance to try anything new recently. Let's head up to the community center. Um... Dexter says, haha, I am a sir, and yeah, Nintendo is scary with their stuff. Yes, they are. And the thing is, like, I have to be careful because, uh, of strikes, you know? Because I don't, I don't want to deal with any of that. Oh my gosh, you're right! Per uh, I forget which one of you said. I think it was Sylveon X Flareon that the ghost fish is in the specialty fish bundle. Duh! How did I miss that? Alright, well, I'll have to bring that up here then. Uh, tilapia, there we go. Alright. Uh, do you want a halibut? Would you like a halibut? Probably not. Sturgeon. Lake fish. Is that by the wizard's house? Is that where that is? Probably. Look at all the fish. Guys, you guys need to, like, be super proud of me. Because look at all those fish. I feel very proud of myself. <laughs> for catching them. It's really hard, guys. Um, Captain Quinlan says, Seb is Jimmy's husband. <laughs> yes, Jimmy Wetzel married mm -hmm. Sebastian, and it was quite mm -hmm. funny. He did it on a stream. And if you want to be entertained, I highly suggest watching it, because it was quite funny. He's a funny kid. I shouldn't say kid, he's an adult now, and I don't want to patronize him. But, um, I actually got to kind of sort of meet him at MAGFest. He was pretty cool. Uh, okay. Unsavish Chicken says, Bravely, Bravely Default was surprising, surprisingly amazing. Never expected it to be that good. I'm excited for Bravely Second. And Prince Damon Wolf says, I played some of the demo for Bravely Second, and the demo's really good. I can't wait for it to come out. And then Smokey the Mudkip says, Bravely Default is actually one of my favorite games. Well, dang, you guys are really into Bravely Default. We actually have it. My, uh, my other half has it. I think I got it for him for Christmas. Probably. We have so many games. Someday, I will do a video on some of the games that we have, because we collect games together, and, uh, we have a lot of games. <laughs> um, I guess I'll sell this. Yeah. But, uh, I was actually thinking of maybe doing a video on, like, all the Harvest Moon games that I have. Like, my Harvest Moon collection. Or, like, all the GameCube games I have or something like that. Didn't know if anybody would be interested. Selling all the fish. All that fish. I guess I'll keep the coral because for some reason I'm hoarding it. Look at that, 25 coral, and then four starred coral, and then three gold starred coral. Like, why do I do this? What time is it? Oh, it is 9.30. Um, and I said I wasn't going to play till 10. Prince Damon Wolf, I would like to see a Let's Play of one of the Legend of Zelda games. That would be awesome. That would be really awesome. But, again, Zelda, Nintendo. Ugh, I just, I'm not, and the thing is, I'm not big enough. Like, I'm a very small channel, so I'm not really even big enough to fight it. You know what I mean? If they'd come after me, so. Level 3 fishing, plus 1 fishing rod proficiency, new crafting recipe, crab pot. Ooh, yes. Yes. We need to do that. That's important. We need to get that stuff. Alright, uh, I think we'll do one more day, and then I'll end the stream. Is everybody cool with that? Because it's, like, 9.40, so that'll probably take me till 10. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Unsavious Chicken, Twilight Princess HD. I really love Twilight Princess. I think Ocarina of Time is my favorite, and no, it's not because of nostalgia, because I never played Ocarina of Time as a kid. I had Majora's Mask, and it scared the living shit out of me. 
Um, I actually was like terrified of Zelda games as a kid because of Majora's Mask. But I really, I actually completed Ocarina of Time for the 3DS and I loved it. So that's probably my favorite Zelda game. And then I also really loved Link Between Worlds. Really, really loved that game as well. I want to play A Link to the Past because it's obviously very similar to Link Between Worlds and I love the art style for it. It's just, I just love it. And we do have it, so I don't know. I don't know if Nintendo would be as picky if the games were older. I'm not sure. Someone said, give the Game Grumps a run for their money. Oh, yeah. Yes, me versus the Game Grumps, right? I am nowhere near that status. <laughs> All right, we actually need to get freaking seeds today because this just looks dismal. We need more. Um, I have a lot of blueberries. Wow. Oh wait, didn't I? Did I never accept that request for a strawberry, or did it run out? It probably ran out. I totally forgot. I wish it would like alert you when you only have one day left for a quest. I feel like that would help me because I always forget these things. Right. Ooh, this one's gold star. Do I have a gold star? I do, so I can sell that, sell that. Uh, those are gonna go in the other thing. That was a great sentence. Those are gonna go in the other thing. Very descriptive. I'm gonna sell all of those and then put my watering can away. I think I'm doing pretty well in terms of money. I mean, I got, you know, 10,000 or 11,000 and I have the uh, slightly bigger bag, so I think I'm doing pretty well for that. I wanna go touch this. Okay. We're gonna buy seeds and then we're gonna fish again, if that's cool. Nastika, I'm back. Just got, just got back from dinner and did someone mention Zelda? <laughs> Yes, uh, people were asking me about playing Zelda, but I was explaining how Nintendo doesn't like YouTubers. <laughs> Even though we give them free advertising, it's very, very strange. I don't understand it. They really should work with YouTubers because, I mean, there have been so many games that- Ew, what the crap is that? Super Cucumber Fish, a rare purple variety of sea cucumber. That does not look like a sea cu- That does not look like a sea cucumber. That looks like a- uh, vibrator. <laughs> anyway. Um. Yes, yeah, so I basically fear Nintendo's wrath, and that is why I don't play a lot of their IPs on my channel. I would love to play something like Mario Party, though. I think that would be fun. I don't know if they would get as mad. Like, I don't know if they would care as much for something that's older like that. I don't know. I also don't think they're as strict when it comes to streaming, but I'm not 100% sure, so we'll have to see. But I have a ton of different consoles, and I have ways of recording all of them, so there is no end to the games that I could play, honestly. I was kind of thinking, um, I don't know if you guys would be interested in this, but over the spring and summer, we do a lot of flea marketing, and we pick up a lot of games to add, the, to, add to our collection. But I was kind of thinking maybe, like, I could do a stream of, like, flea market pickups, quote-unquote, and just kind of, like, play, I don't know, three or four different games that we picked up that day just to see what they're like. I don't know if anybody would be interested in that. But that was just kind of an idea I had. Because I have a lot of games that I haven't even really played or tried yet simply because, you know, getting them at flea markets or yard sales, we have gotten a lot, so... I just think that would be fun. I really like old PC games, like from the 90s. The point and click kind. I think
think they're a lot of fun. Like the Disney storybook ones and stuff. I always thought it'd be kind of funny to stream something like that. Or my old Barbie games. My god, that would be a treat. I have Detective Barbie and Detective Barbie 2. <laughs> Among others. From my childhood, and I think that would be quite hilarious to do that sometime. Sextra says, Wind Waker is my favorite. It was my... Oh gosh, did I miss it? I probably did. It was my first and I played it with my brother, so the game has so many memories for me. Oh, that's really sweet. I have I have a lot of nostalgic games um, that are connected to people as well. Like, I, I used to play Halo with my dad all the time. Oh, I think... Is Sunfish something I need for the community center? I don't remember. <laughs> but I used to play Halo with my dad all the time, and I didn't really get to see him a lot because he lives like 400 miles away from me and he didn't raise me so um that was always really special for me to play halo so that halo has always had like a special place in my heart because of that let's save his chicken that'd be cool also what happened to your fallout mini series um it didn't go anywhere i have just been really busy that is it really um i really love fallout i wish i had more time to play it it's just a time thing to be honest I wish it got more views though, but eh, what can you do? I think they're funny. <laughs> I think I'm funny. But um, yeah, I definitely want to do more of the Fallout Shorty plays and possibly other ones as well, like Saints Row 4 and just some other games that are a little different because I feel like my channel's pretty, uh, it's kind of like mostly life sim-ish kind of games, uh, very like, dialogue heavy games that sort of thing so i kind of like switching it up a little bit and i feel like shorty plays are the way to go because it's not a full let's play it's kind of a mini one so there will be more i just i don't know when because seriously time has been cruel to me <laughs> we'll just say but it will be coming back once i have phoenix right finished i'm gonna try to get through um return to popolo croix like, I'll try to maybe do three uploads of that a week, I think. I'm gonna try, shoot for that. So, once that happens, I'll have more time for stuff. Um. Oh shit, you don't have to tell me about Nintendo's stupid shit. If it helps, I streamed Legend of Zelda the Minish Cap and nothing happened. Though no one watched, so that may be why they didn't care. Yeah, I don't know if Nintendo monitors streams as much, or if they only monitor bigger channels. I really don't know. And it might be an age thing, like maybe they only care about newer releases. I, I don't know. It, it seems like it comes out of nowhere, because Splatoon, Splatoon was claimed immediately. And I played that pretty much at launch, and it was claimed like right away. But then, a couple weeks later, I got another claim. And then a couple weeks later, I got another claim. And I was like, really? Do you guys know how to attach bait to the fishing rod? Do I do it like that? Man, how do I do this? Maybe I can't attach it to this fishing rod. That might actually be a thing. Um, Prince Demon Wolf said, my dad got me into Legend of Zelda series with Wind Waker and it was one of the best moments of my life. I was just seven then. Oh, that's so cute. I wish I had more kind of like gaming memories with my dad, but like I said, I didn't live with him, so I really only saw him at Christmas and then over the summer uh, around my birthday, so we didn't really have a lot of time to spend together. What? Oh, okay. I thought something interesting was going to happen. Um, but... Yeah, I always really liked when we would play games together. We also played Baldur's Gate, uh, Dark Alliance 2, and that was so much fun. I, it really got me into dungeon crawlers. Um, and since, I've played Diablo, and I love it. It's so much fun. And I, I don't think a lot of people would know that because I don't play games like that on my channel, but I actually do have a very wide variety of games that I play. I don't just play... Uh, Harvest Moon or Life Sims or anything like that. I actually do play a lot more diverse games. Come on, fish! Why you gotta hate me? Why you gotta hate me? Is 
Zextra says, Halo was my gateway into gaming. One kid in my neighborhood had it and everyone always wants to play at his house. Yeah, Halo, Halo 1 is like really nostalgic for me. And then when Halo 2 came out and it was like, I think Halo 2 was the first one where you could dual wield, if I'm thinking correctly. And that was like such a big deal. It was a lot of fun. It's unfortunate that that's really all that Microsoft has in terms of exclusives. They don't have a lot else to offer, which is kind of why I lean more towards Sony. I mean, we do have we have an Xbox One now, and uh, we have PS4. We each have a PS4, actually. Um, but I tend to gravitate more towards Sony because they have better exclusives, in my opinion. Uh, H. Chandler says, will you continue doing anything else with Worlds Dawn, like streaming maybe? Um, I don't know at this point. I'm kind of like at capacity for Harvest Moon games right now. So I, I don't want to say never just because I don't know how I'm going to feel next month, you know? But as of now, I don't have any plans because Stardew Valley is going to be more of a stream thing now. Just for something different. Plus, then I don't really have to worry about going back and editing it and everything. I'll see how it does on the channel as a full stream, and if people don't like it, then maybe I'll edit it down. We'll just have to see. But uh, Stardew Valley is basically what I'm going to be streaming from now on. I'm going to try to do it once a week or once every other week. Shooting for once a week. If people really like it, then maybe I'll do it more. Uh, we'll just have to see. Uh, Unsaved Chicken says, yeah, I agree about time. <laughs> Yeah, it is a problem. Like, because everybody's always throwing games at me like, oh, try this, try this. And I want to. I do. I really do. It's just, I never have enough time to play all of them. As much as I, I mean, there are so many games that I want to play personally. Like, Pokemon Yellow is a big one that I really want to play on the channel. I think that would be so much fun. And that was my first Pokemon game, so I have a lot of memories attached to it. And... I really want to play that. So that's kind of like what I'm looking at as my next big LP. Hopefully it works out. It'll depend on Nintendo. But I don't think it'll be a problem because Game Freak is the ones who actually made it. So hopefully. FK306. Oh, you're still playing? I was worried I wouldn't be able to see the end. Nope, I'm still playing. I'm just playing this last day, and then I'm gonna go, because my throat's starting to get sore. I was really dumb and didn't, uh, have my water right here. Normally I would. I actually drink a ton of water when I'm recording, and I have to edit it out, because <laughs> my thermos is like one of those Starbucks mugs, and I, ha I always have to have ice in it, because if my water is not cold enough to, like, freeze hell, it's, it's not cold enough for me, so I have a ton of ice cubes in it, and they always rattle, so I have to edit that out, which is, like, really annoying. <laughs> Especially during Phoenix Wright. Oh my god. I, I probably drink, like, three gallons of water when I'm recording Phoenix Wright, just because it's so dialogue-heavy, and there's so many voices, and so many characters, and that LP takes the most out of me, out of any of them. It is... Crazy. Captain Quindolin says, My memories with games as a child were with you and Seth not letting me play because I was an annoying baby. <laughs> yes, you were. We did not want you to play with us. Captain Quindolin is my cousin. If you guys didn't know, she's also my mod. And uh, she's a little bit younger than me. And when we were children, her brother and I were very close in age. And we were very close. Like, we were more like brother and sister than cousins and she would always want to play and we did not want her to play <laughs> so we would like do the thing where you don't actually put the controller in the port and then be like oh yeah you're totally playing and then she would think she was playing when she actually wasn't because the controller wasn't plugged in we did that sort of thing that sort of stuff to her because <laughs> she was just an annoying little child not much has changed has it Prince Damon Wolf says, Emo dude, my future husband when I buy this game. <laughs> I haven't seen anybody marry anyone besides Sebastian, to be honest with you. I mean, not that I've watched a lot of Stardew plays. Although I guess Pro Jared did marry Abigail. 
I'm pretty sure he said that in his review. So I guess that's not 100% true, but for guys, it seems like Sebastian is the fan favorite. All right, tiger trout, catfish. Don't have that. What do I have? Rainbow trout, rainbow trout. I have sunfish and bream. I might have already given a sunfish though. Maybe. Oh, I was gonna do, man. I need to make one of those lobster things. See, I forget. I get all into whatever stupid thing I'm saying at the time and I forget. Okay, well fine. You don't want my you don't want my sunfish? Fine. Rude. I'll just leave. Nasca says the first really good game I ever beat was Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the 3DS. I loved Ocarina of Time, though when it comes to nostalgia, I hold the N64 close to my heart because my first gaming memory was of me watching my brother play Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon Stadium. Oh my gosh. I love Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Snap. The N64 was the first game I ever bought, or the first game, the first game system I ever bought myself. I like saved up my birthday money and it was like $100 because I think it was close to the N64 is like the end of its lifetime because it was like the action, it was some kind of pack where it came with two controllers and like I would know it if I saw it because it came with the atomic purple controller and it came with the gray controller and that was like my jam. But the first game system I ever played was the Genesis, and I was very little. Like, I was such a little babby when I was playing that. So I'm assuming my first game was probably Sonic, but I don't, I don't know for sure, because I was really little. I was probably like, I don't know, four maybe. I've been gaming for a long time. So... It's very weird. I never perceived gaming as being a quote-unquote guy thing. It wasn't until I was older that I really encountered that, and I was like, that's weird, because my friends and I always played video games, and we were girls, and it was never an issue. So, I never really understood that. It always sort of baffled me. Hmm. I guess I'll put bait in here. Well, that's more for mining. I don't... I don't know what I want to do with that. I guess I'll just put it in here as miscellaneous stuff. And here's my trash. Oh yeah, my ugh, I forgot to plant the seeds. Why do I forget to do these things? All the time. Um. Zextro, who here played Twisted Metal? I actually did not play Twisted Metal, which is strange because I had a PS1 and I loved it to death. But I never had Twisted Metal. Curtis Silo 27 hi, hi, he says, hi everyone, hi Keita, nice to meet you, nice to meet you too, I feel really bad because <laughs> I've been streaming for almost three hours now, and I was actually just about to end the stream just because of, uh, I was gonna end the day, but the stream is gonna remain up on Twitch, because I'm not partnered, I think it only stays up for 14 or 15 days, which is not long, which is why I'm going to be uploading it to my YouTube channel, so if you want to watch it there, you can feel free to watch it. Um, Unsafe's Chicken, what does the emo dude like? I'm trying to max hearts on everyone, and he is always he always hates everything I give him. Give him the frozen tear. <laughs> emo kid loves frozen tears. Uh, Prince Damon Wolf, I really enjoyed watching you play this game. It's really entertaining. Oh, thank you. I am glad. I will be trying to stream Stardew Valley once a week so i'm gonna shoot for wednesdays but i'm always gonna post something on youtube to say like oh streaming this time so that you guys can get ready for that so if you're interested you can sub to me on youtube and you should be able to stay up to date i'm also on twitter and i basically post everything on twitter so if if you want to follow me there that's totally cool as well um let's see FK306 says, my first game was the Super Nintendo, and I would play with my younger brother, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> nice. And Curtis Silo, or Silo, I'm not quite sure, says, my first game was Super Mario Brothers. Shows you how old I am. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're not that old. Sextro, GameCube is so OOD. Not sure what that means. Nastika says, I thought he liked Hot Topic. I'm sorry, I had to. Yes, yeah, Sebastian loves Hot Topic. He 
models his fashion after Kylo Ren, if you guys didn't know. Nice try, Captain Quindolin. Nightbot does not listen to anyone's orders but mine. He is a sla enslaved robot. Oh man, I was really hoping to level something up. I did pretty good fishing, which I don't normally do. And we made bank. Look at that. Look at that G. I haven't even sold a lot of my blueberries yet and uh, making a lot of money. So yeah, I think I'm going to end the stream now because my throat is killing me. And we've been going for three hours. But if you guys are interested, I'll try to stream once a week. And you can definitely check me out on YouTube if you'd like. I have other Stardew Valley uh, videos up on YouTube. So if you want to check them out, you can. And I'm going to be posting all of my streams on YouTube. I don't know if I'm going to make a separate channel for streams in the future. Maybe, maybe not. We'll just have to see. But for right now, they're just going to go on my main channel, which is just Keaton Nash Gaming. So yeah, come and follow me if you would like to. And thank you guys so much for coming out for the stream. I had a lot of fun, and I hope you guys did too. It was my first stream, so I was very nervous, and I hope that it went well. Um, I hope you guys had fun. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming out, and I hope to see you at the next one.